Hello, hello everyone. Hello on this beautiful Saturday. Uh, I hope everybody is having a good um, Christmas weekend here. I hope everybody had a few days off and they spent them enjoying doing what they enjoy most. Um, this is an, uh, a bit of an earlier stream uh, than my regular slot uh, as things around Christmas um, aren't always going as planned. Um, I didn't have as much time to prepare, uh, though I hope everything will go okay today. Um, hello everyone in chat. Hello GMC82, Captain Dizzy, yes. Um, before uh, we go further ahead, let me play the intro here. That was a pretty, sh a pretty short introduction, but quickly summarizes the stage we're in right now with the uh, series. Um, so the, the Fennon Corporation again has fired their current subsidiary and they named a new subsidiary which is bolder and stronger than the previous one. So we'll have some work to do on the stream to try to thin their trader numbers. Um, also, uh, we're getting at the point in the game where um, we're focusing on trying to get the shipbuilding materials because uh, the next step after that is to um, to build uh, the fleet, and um, and we will need a lot of materials to be able to do so. So, let's just get right in. Hello, Ecag. Hello, Sherry and Rodeig. Hello, Mr. Primal. Hello Malat. Hello Estir. Uh, Malat, any problems with the quality? Let me know if uh, there are any problems with the stream. Alright, so we'll just jump right in. Here we are. I have a, a, a new mouse uh, that I got like on Christmas um, and um, I'm still getting used to the high DPI. So it's a bit jerky right now. Uh, okay, so let's see where we were. Uh, uh, first I'll load the uh, save game, the last save game we did at the end of the last episode. See where we were back then. Hello Despair Knight. Oh, I see Malad. Thank you. Thanks for your compliment. Um, okay, so um, last time we just established our headquarters, I think. Yes, we just established the GOG HQ in Sector V Alpha. We had two money-making complexes that were producing uh, Alpha Particle Cannons, and which we would, sell, we would sell for money. And we just hired a dock agent for our headquarters. Uh, his job is to sell and buy everything, is to sell everything that the, the dock doesn't need and to buy anything that the dock needs. And uh, we also had a courier which moves the um, goods, it, uh, that is, it moves the weapons from the uh, factories here above, from the factories making alpha particle cannons to the HQ, and then from the HQ the dock agent will sell them. 
and a bunch of other uh, random ships. And our total asset value at the time uh, was about 4.3 billion credits. And now if we load the last save game. Hello Alphador, good to see you here. Okay, um, let's see. First, as you can see uh, from the property screen, um, we have a third alpha particle cannon um, complex here and a bunch of other complexes. One making cloth rhymes, one making teladianium, uh, one making chaff missiles, one making crystals and one making quantum tubes. Um, chaff is a type of missile that you use as an anti-missile. Uh, solution because they are extremely fast missiles that target and destroy any other missile so they're very useful um, against missile boats that will fire tons of missiles towards your ships um, crystals quantum tubes teladianium and cloth rhymes are uh, ingredients that are needed to build ships in this game so you can already tell that I've started uh, to, to uh, create the, uh, the infrastructure that will be needed for us to build our fleet. Uh, in terms of the H HQ, in terms of the headquarters, one thing that's notable to mention here is that I have moved it. Initially, I have established it uh, in the sector V Alpha in the previous episode, but uh, in the meantime, I have moved it to the sector Y Alpha. It's because I prefer uh, that location. It's much more easily to defend and uh, it's not as close to Fanon Corporation's home sector, so any of their hunter parties will take longer to get to my home sector, uh, which would give me more time to thin them down. Okay, in terms of ships, uh, we have a ton more dock agents, all these red uh, named ships here. Uh, we have a bit more couriers, and we have also hired two freighters, uh, the Bragi ships here. Um, the freighters uh, are ships assigned to a dock to freight any goods from your own pr production facilities towards the dock uh, so that the dock has uh, a, a given number of those goods. The, the capacity, and, and that is the number of goods that you want to keep on the dock, that's configured through the dockware manager here. Yeah, so you can see I already configured that I will want to have about 10 million energy cells and I want to have about 50 200 megajoule shields and 50 25 megajoule shields. I want to keep about 100 chaff in stock at all times. Anything above that should be sold. Um, I want to have about 20 advanced satellites on stock because I may need to drop satellites from time to time. Uh, and as you can see, all the ship manufacturing components are listed in their own section here in this uh, Dockware Manager window. And like I said, I already have a complex that's making crystals, one that's making quantum tubes, one that's making cloth rhymes, and one that's making teladianium. And as you can see here on the right side of, uh, of, of, those, um, of those rows, um, I have established that crystals will be uh, fetched from my GOG crystal factory, uh, that quantum tubes will be fetched from my GOG quantum tubes factory, and so on. Um, this is uh, something you can configure here in Docker Manager. Uh, and these instructions are followed by your freighters, the ships that make sure that, that transport goods from your production facilities to the dock. Okay. Um, so the point here is I'm trying to create the infrastructure to have all the ship manufacturing components, uh, you know, being created at a steady rate, at a steady hourly rate, um, so that um, once I have that, I can start building my fleet. Uh, and hopefully, maybe by the end of a stream, we'll be able to build at least one ship. It might not be a military ship, it might be just a trader ship that we may need, but still maybe we're, we're getting there. Uh, let me take a quick look at chat. Hello, the Gruz. Hello, Burn Pies. Good to see you here. It's an early stream today. Happy to see you here again. Uh, okay, so um, 
uh, one thing I wanted to add, but I forgot what I wanted to say. In any case, I'll have to reload the save game because I spent some time explaining to you all this stuff. And actually in this save game, I was trying to, uh, to attack um, a Fanon hunting party. Uh, and they just uh, flew away while I was talking to you. So I'll reload the save game and go and attack them. Hey, Nulun. Okay, so that's a friend on hunting party. Let's look at the sector map. So they have three corvettes and a bunch of heavy fighters. Tons of heavy fighters. Actually, they're just like three corvettes and heavy fighters. That's not good. Um, but I can do a bit of... Um, attack and run tactics here so i'll jump to this jump gate in front of them maybe destroy one percent. or two ships then run away let's see how this works they will fire uh, missiles at me so my shields will go down really quickly plus they have heavy Target power here uh, heavy weapon power okay let's see maybe i can destroy this guy yeah there you go they're firing uh, missiles Let's order my ship to jump. Fast jump device charging so in the meantime, try to destroy maybe any other ship while the uh, jump drive is loading. It's charging, I mean. Alright, good. So they took down 50% of our shields and we only destroyed the ship. So that doesn't look good, but that's not important. What's important is now they will try to intercept me so they will try to get to me as quick as they can and that should divide their numbers because the fastest ships sh should get to me first and i can destroy them one by one before the other ships get to me let's see yeah yeah they're trying to uh, go towards me now to intercept me hello koala man hello jigstra hello Kyoti. Happy to see so many people in here. Yeah, but they are kind of slow, these guys. I guess the heavy fighters aren't that quick. Alright, I guess I can just wait here. Uh, in the meantime, let's see what I can do. Uh, we don't have too many credits right now. We need a bit more to build the next um, complex that will be making... Uh, ship manufacturing components. I think the next thing I want is to get a complex that makes raster oil. Yeah, I already calculated uh, the cost here. So if I want a complex of size 380 uh, that will make raster oil, let's see. That should um, cost about 580 million credits and we'll be making about 25, 24.5 uh, thousand raster oil <coughs> units excuse me units per hour yeah so that's good um one thing so to, to in order to be able to build ships um besides having the right components for it you also need to have a blueprint for that you need to know how to build that ship and there are two ways to get blueprints you can either buy them because there are these random missions now that you can get which they sell blueprints to you for example this one here you are talking speed it out pilot i'm bringing the prices up now there you go he wants to sell uh, the blueprints for a ship called mercury which is a trader ship for 1.7 million credits so you can either buy them like that or you can reverse engineer it that is if you own a ship of, of that type, you can order it to dock at your headquarters and then you can order your headquarters to reverse engineer that ship. And then in a short amount of time, you'll get a blueprint uh, for that ship. Of course, the process of reverse engineering completely destroys the ship. So that's the cost for it. Uh, you will destroy that ship in order to reverse engineer it, in order to be able to build more, on the, more of those. Hello, Kujo. And hello, XDSP. Uh, so someone fired a missile. missile closing. I don't care. Let's take down this guy. He got Alert. here first. Missile. He's going to die first. Uh, 
Okay, one down. Let's see. Okay, we have a next one coming now. Fanon, Susanova, prototype. Susanova. Why do you pronounce W as V? Is this German? Yeah, I guess the company that made this game is German. That makes sense that the board computer has a bit German bias there. Oh, he's close. He's already firing. Okay. Uh, and we have three more ships that are pretty close. We'll destroy those and then... I think after that it will be harder because the other ship seems to stay close to the corvettes and if they stay close to the corvettes there's not much I can do because I cannot destroy those corvettes when they sit together like that. Oh great, I just rammed this ship. Okay, cool. Dead. And we have one more. Perseus Vanguard. Okay. And now the other ships stay close to each other. And they also have dropped all these drones that seem to stay close. Uh, but drones have a finite amount of energy, so they will just auto self-destruct after the, they run out of energy. If we look here, we have 44% energy left. And so there are, what, five fighters and three corvettes. That's not good. I need a, st I need a strategy to be able... What? Alert, 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 alert. They just fired uh, some type of swarm missile. Jump Let me jump here. Charging at 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50%, 60, 70. Hello, Shishimaru. Uh, let's try to draw them south. That's north. Okay, south is here. Where is south? Somewhere that way. <laughs> Hello, Crazy Waco. Cool. Uh, XDSP. Okay. So the next thing, like I said, I want to make that raster oil complex and that, that requires about 580 million credits. So I'll need at least about 650. You are being promoted. Okay, I'm being promoted. I am. I have advanced my trade rank. I guess my traders right. keep Missile increasing crazy. my rank. If we look at the trade rank here, I'm level 27 now, tycoon. Okay, sounds good, I guess. <laughs> the Gruz. Don't believe it. It's just a video game. You are talking? Got some I have it sending through the oh. I was hoping these guys could offer me a good mission, but nothing good there. Okay, so again, I need more money. Uh, not much. Um, well, I need about 200 million. Let's see, do I have anything invested in the stock market? No, I don't. Damn it. I thought maybe I could sell something. Wait, what? Oh, Niana Saida. Okay. So apparently I cannot access that, that one stock market because I don't have presence in that sector. That means I don't have a satellite. Well, we need to go there and drop one. In the meantime, what is Fanon doing? Uh, they just sent... What's this? Where is this guide going? I see.
Okay, they're just sending some Alert. ships out to equip, uh, to be equipped at, at shipyards. So maybe I could intercept and destroy them. Yeah, I'll try to do that. But how to make some money quickly? That's the question. Can I... Let's see. Do I have any... Ah, oh yeah, I do have an alpha particle cannon. Alert. So my dock agents should be selling closing. these alpha particle cannons. Uh, and then I'll make some money. Uh, I also can sell a lot of water. This actually brings me uh, uh, to a topic that I haven't uh, talked about. Uh, one of the things I did off stream uh, since last episode, uh, at some point I established a large water um, complex. So I was just making water because for some reason I thought there is a lot of capacity in the universe to sell water. That Alert. was definitely true. The problem is that um, water is really cheap i think the average price is like 32 credits and takes takes plenty of cargo for its price i think it takes four units of cargo that means my trader ships would be able to only carry maybe about 2000 3000 units of water per trade run so in order to actually make a good profit out of water, I would have needed, I think I, I did the math, I would have needed about 40 or 50 traders just selling water. You know, it, it was really silly, like no way I'm going to do that. I can be making things that are more expensive and take the same amount of cargo and just sell those. I, I don't need water. So in the end, I decided uh, to just dismantle my water complex. And that's why you don't see it anymore. But what you do see is that I have stored a lot of water that was produced in the meantime by that complex, which I need to get rid of in time. I'll need to sell it. Uh, it, it won't yield me a lot of money, but I need to get rid of it. Hey, VRPG fan. Does Litcube allow turrets to attack missiles? Yes, it does. Um, it's part of uh, Albion Prelude. You can actually program Alert. your custom... Hey, what the hell are they keep on firing missiles at me and it's so annoying. <laughs> uh, it's, it's part of... Uh, you can program your custom turret scripts and I do that actually. Typhoon Once I missile. Okay, so they're firing Typhoon missiles. Um, when I start having a fleet, the turret commands I assign to my uh, to my ships in the fleet are actually custom, uh, are pr defined by me. And the way you do that, you go to gameplay options, and there is here down below there is a thing called turret command turret command configuration. And here you can configure uh, what every already defined turret command does. Like for example, uh, missile defense. You can see that it first does missile defense, that is it intercepts any missile that is coming to the ship. Then if there is no missile coming to the ship, it's going to, to try to protect the ship. Uh, then if there is no ship attacking our current ship, it's going to attack the same ship our ship is attacking. And if there is none of that, it's going to attack any enemies uh, around the area, right? So this is how missile defense is defined. And you can define your own commands by, by assigning orders to this uh, turret command alpha, beta, and gamma. I could go to alpha, for example, and say, first, I want you to, um, to do missile defense, that is, attack any missiles. When there is no missile, I want you to attack fighters. And so on, right? So you can Tempest missile, you can just define your own turret command that way, and it's really awesome. Like it's very useful. Hey, Mr. Primal, what 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 does ECAG mean? You're negative. Sorry, I missed that. Um, but Gruz, well, I think that would depend on the kind of fight. It doesn't look like a kind of guy who. Could last long in a sword fight, but admittedly, I might be wrong about that. Oh, <laughs> Ikak. Yes, uh, and I haven't, and I wasn't really good at at, um, at those kind of fights in Monkey Island either. Uh, the swear fights. So I might actually be better at sword fights rather than swear fights. <laughs> yes, Tempest Mr. Primal. Uh, I was actually squeezing water out of rocks because in order to have that water uh, making complex, I had to use uh, ice asteroids as a resource. So they were actually squeezing uh, water out of rocks. Yes, it's just like a, uh, vanilla with more options. Yes, RPG fan. Okay. So let's see. 
Do we have more money? Yeah, we have a bit more money now. I guess someone went and sold those alpha particle cannons. Yeah, there you go. I have no amount left uh, on my um, eight, on my HQ, uh, but it's fine. Uh, I have these three complexes making them continuously, so I'll always get... I get about, I think, at this point, I get about um, 60 million credits per game hour only from, from these three complexes. But I also start to sell... Uh, anything produced uh, for manufacturing ships, which I don't need right now. Uh, I just sell them and if any overflow I have. So that will sh should give me more money. And uh, since I was talking earlier about blueprints, let's take a look at that. So the blueprints that I have currently are for most of the traders that the Terran faction has. That is the Baldrick, the Baldrick Howler and the Baldrick Super Freighter. I have a blueprint for a bomber, for a Terran bomber, bomber called Claymore. And I have a blueprint for the type of Corvette that I'm currently flying, called the Setanta. And I hope to be able by the end of the stream to build some um, Baldrick Super Freighters. Let's see, what do I need? So I have enough energy cells to build f 14 of those. I have enough Teladianium to build 13 of those. I have enough cloth rhymes to build 21 of those. Uh, see, I need raster oil, I need ore, silicon wafers, uh, com computer components, I only have to build one, so I need more computer components. Yeah, I'm trying to work on the raster oil uh, part of the equation, but I, I need more money to do that. Now, unfortunately, this hunter group that I was trying to thin down, they're just sitting really close to each other, so they won't, there won't be much I can do with this hunter group. So I better just go here and attack just targets of opportunity while I'm making more money. Entering system, Elysium of Light. Okay, let's see. Can I attack this guy? Yeah, that's a Phenom Trader. I think I can attack him. And even destroy him before he jumps out. Phenom Baldrick Horror. Ah, I wasn't using the right um, weapon configuration. I have a different weapon configuration to attack traders, which does a lot more damage per second. Now he'll be able to jump out. There you go. He jumped out. I did damage him a bit. Where did he go? Let's see. He went... To Nyana's hideout. Oh, I see. Okay. And he dropped some... Uh, some fighter drones. In the meantime, maybe I can destroy this guy. Oh yeah. Definitely we can try to destroy that guy. Uh, what else? Do we have any missions? Yeah, we do have three missions going. Uh, first one is Paranid Space Jewelry M. So someone wants me to build that. Um, where am I here? Oh, I'm at the HQ. No, okay. Search for Paranid Space Jewelry M. So it's a factory from the Paranid. Uh, Space Jewelry M. Alright, search. Go there. So that I will buy it and then deploy it. guys going oh, okay they're going that way good <laughs> yeah yeah Pyman for all we know Pyman could be the governor of New York or something target is now in firing range. <laughs> a real life sword fight that would be something I'm not into fencing guys I'm into biking into cycling so I could stream uh, me uh, biking on the trainer how about that too boring okay good what's what's here all right we can destroy those guys so let's do that jump device charging at 10% Entering system, guiding star. Fanon gladiator. Okay, where does this, does this guy just went to Nyana's hideout? That's it. No, he's now going to his ho home sector. Okay, so then there's nothing I can do. 
I cannot follow him to his home sector. He's a really good voice actor. Uh, I really, I dearly missed him uh, from the Unreal Tournament 2004 uh, from the second championship. I think he had the perfect uh, sports commentator voice. Uh, how much money do we have? Not much. Is this guy, did he get to the shipyard? He gets there now. Don't forget to drink. Thank you, Ikak. I shall do that now. I have mul multiple bottles uh, and so I hope I'll be good now. Okay. Come on guys, come to me. You need to die. Is this guy offering a mission or you are talking Sector maps? I know all the sectors, man. I don't need more sector maps. What about my uh, build, my mover ship? Did he get to... Yeah, he got there. Okay, so I need to buy... Uh, Paranid Space Jewelry M. Paranid Space Jewelry M. Good. Next thing I need is, is an Argon Jump Drive Core Factory. Argon is now in firing range. Jump Drive Core Factory. Omicron Good. Command now we can destroy these guys. Uh, that's lots of shielding on him. The Romanian plum thing, yes, um, Suica or Palinka, depends, there are actually multiple types, I think that's Brandy, oh wait, am I colliding with him now? Oh, okay, uh, Arrow. that wasn't necessarily the best thing to do because it took some of my shields down. So the reason why I'm destroying these guys so easily is because they're actually heavily damaged ships that Fanon has somehow gotten from somewhere and it was sending them to be repaired and they probably didn't even have weapons on them. So yeah, uh, those, was, those were really easy targets. So I should be going back to hunting traders while I'm making money to build the next complex. Right. Security complaint. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here. And well, this guy. Oh yeah, that guy. Ooh ah. Let's let's attack that guy. Hey Desrain! <laughs> Jump device charging at ten percent. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. 50%. Yeah, <laughs> friend timed out. Cool. Seven. I'm happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Entering system. Tread autopilot. All right. Time to destroy this trader ship. Ah, uh, he he will be able to jump, I think. But maybe I can follow him this time. My, my front turret took a really long time to fire again. That's why he had time to jump away. Cargo bay now contains huh? I picked up something that that guy dropped. I don't need it. Uh, let's see, do we get some missions you are, here? You are talking. Oh. Ah, transmitting information Who's now? beam emitter? Good. That's paid really well. You are talking. Next one. What? This mission shouldn't be an issue. Nah, not good. You are talking. Transmitting not good. Everything that's not hard or very hard is not interesting for me. Now, this other ship ahead of me. Oh, okay, that's that guy. Super I can jump in here. And let's see, put him on the second monitor. 
Where is he? Oh, there he is. And I can try to attack him. <laughs> if I don't hit the pause button. Oh, I see. Good point. What are these guys? Oh yeah, there is this hunting party that just happens to be in the same place. I think I may be able to attack the trader and then jump away. Let's see. Or jump, I just already ordered my ship to jump away. Ah, yes, he bailed out. Jump! Jump! Okay. Don't have much shield left, but we haven't uh, taken any hull damage. The shield will just regenerate itself. So we're all good. It's all cool. Where is this guy going? So, uh, the Fanon uh, subsidiary, the new Fanon subsidiary appeared about half an hour before I made the save game that I loaded when I started the stream. So that's why it's, it's a bit crazy here. Um, there's a lot of activity, Fanon is just in the beginning, they have tons of ships, they have tons of traders. Usually you don't see this thing because I'm doing it off stream, where I essentially hunt down all their targets of opportunity, trader ships and Fanon. any other weak targets, Money. like this guy. No aim. Yeah. He's done. So usually you don't see me doing this. By the time I do the stream, uh, I already have thinned out uh, their fighters and uh, traders. All right, see, we got uh, 80 more million in the meantime. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're getting there. I want... Um, where is this guy? Oh, yeah, that guy bailed out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, what? Someone attacking me? Oh yeah, the, the fighter drones. Yeah, we can just stop and let our turrets destroy the fighter drones. And... What else I wanted to see? Yes, uh, the mover. I need to buy an Argon Jump Drive Core Factory. So, the Jump Drive Core Factory. Jump. What else do I need to buy? I need to buy a Split Pulse Beam Emitter Forge. Split pulse beam. Where is that? Oh yeah, this one. PB. Family EG. Okay. Accepted. Good. So what are my traders doing? Are they are they bored? Because if they're bored, I can order them to sell more water. Every time I see my dock agents being bored, I just order them to sell more water. Uh, but when they have other things to sell, like crystals in this case, I don't do that because crystals uh, give me a lot more profit uh, than uh, water. So I let them sell the crystals before I order them to sell more water. If I look at the dockware manager here, we have, we have some alpha particle cannons, so again we'll be making uh, some 20 millions uh, when those will get sold. Um, so they, they're trying to sell about 2,700 2, uh, cr um, crystals. Because uh, essentially the way this works with the dock agents is... What? What now? Oh, these guys. Okay. Whatever. Essentially the way this works uh, with a dock agent... Let me go back. Is for each wear on your dock, you set the desired capacity, which you can Check see here in the third column, right? And in the second column is the actual number of wares you, you have on that dock. And so in this case, if I have more stored on the dock than my desired capacity, then any excess is being sold automatically by the dock agents. That way I can keep some 40,000 crystals for my shipbuilding needs, while I'll, I'll just order them to sell uh, and anything in excess of that. Um, and it works the same for every other wear here. These guys, they like their missiles. They keep on firing missiles. Oh, but there is one guy that is in front of them. I think I'll may, I may be able to destroy him uh, before the other ones get to me. Mm. 
But no, I think I'll just ignore it and go and destroy this trader. It's just a waste of time. And this guy? Hmm. Let's go after this guy. Jump device charging at 10%. So many targets because the Fanon Corporation, like I said, just refreshed. Uh, it has a new subsidiary. Entering system. And autopilot off. So many targets. Fanon Nexus Super Freighter. Ah, jumped away, of course. Fanon Demeter Let's go after prototype. this other one. The one we damaged uh, some time ago. Okay. Oh, we can get some missions here. You are talking encoding data for Space fuel now. distillery. Anything? It's okay, it's good. You are talking. Come on, turrets, do your job. Okay, how much money do we have now? Oh, uh, so still need to wait. So the next thing I need to buy is the Argon Space. Oh, okay, but I already went to buy the Speed Pulse Phenometer. Hmm. Yeah. Pulse Beam Emitter. Pulse. What else? Uh, Teladi Teladianum Foundry M. Teladi Teladianum Foundry M. Grand Exchange. Okay, you go there. Man, they dropped a lot of drones. But of course, they are no match against the Corvette. Good. My turrets just destroyed all of them. And I'll try to intercept this guy. But I don't know if I have time, he's too far away. He might be able to dock at that military outpost before I'm able to intercept him. And if he does, he'll be able to restock on um, drones that he dropped some time ago when I first attacked him. No, I think we might be able to intercept him after all. Yeah. Okay. Fanon Demeter prototype. Die. Ah, uh, don't tell me he jumps again. No. Aim. Okay, finally. Dead. This guy. Ooh. Where did Jump you go? Device charging at 10%. <laughs> hey, Emrah. Entering system Omicron Lyri. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the beef? Not in the cargo bay. Uh, we can get a mission. Wait, we can get a mission. You are talking to spread great encoding data for oh yeah, very hard. Now. Good. We're going to get a good you pay day. Very it. hard. Good. You are talking. Are you selling some out. blueprints? The Not now. interested. Fine. If you change your mind, you... Yeah, if I change my mind, don't hope for it. Since I'm role playing a, a Terran character, I try to keep my um. My fleet only made out of shi of Terran ships. Let's see. Ah, come here. He managed to dock. We'll have to wait him to undock and then attack. Come on, undock already. All right, how many money? How much money do we have? Um, we still need about sixty more million. And this guy is getting close to the shipyard where I ordered him to go. Okay, he undocked. Attack. Fanon Nexus 
super yeah. <laughs> so what happened here why he died so quickly was um when my front turret fired which i think it's being it's using a photon artillery array which is a very st uh, strong type of uh, weapon uh it actually pushed that ship into the station and so the, the trader ship collided with the station and it was instantly destroyed Okay, who's next? Let's look for more victims. This guy. Good, mark him. Any more victims here? Oh, this guy. Good. I just uh, put them on the first monitor and the second monitor. The first monitor is, is uh, the ship you see here and this is the second monitor on the right top side. And the first one, like I said, is the left top side. Come on! What the hell is going on? Oh, these are MK2. Not good. That's why they're destroying my shield. Phantom Fighter Drone MK2. Damn it. I have to destroy them manually, Phantom but but turrets are too weak MK2. for this. And they do Phantom some significant Fighter shield damage. Drone MK2. Fanon, fighter drone MK2. It's easy enough Fanon, to destroy them with the main drone, guns. MK2. Fanon, fighter drone Oops. MK2. Fanon, fighter drone Ooh. MK2. So many of them. Fanon, fighter drone MK2. 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 Great. Let's switch back to the weapons we use to assassinate traders. And where is this guy? He's there. No, dude, this guy. Oh, he just docked somewhere. Okay, this guy. He also docked. Let's wait until they jump to a new location and then we will attack them. What are they doing? They're just sitting there. How much money do we have? Uh, still need some. Okay, what is my TL doing? I just got to the Telati shipyard. And I need to buy Teladi Anim Foundry M. Do I need anything else from the Teladi? No. Telad okay. Now, what else do we need? Uh, I think I need the Space Fuel Distillery, which I haven't bought before. So let's go to Argon and Space Fuel Distillery. It's the L that I need. Omicron Lyri. Okay. Command accepted. So, what is this guy doing here? Haha! Follow Jump him. Jump device charging at 10%. 20. 30. Entering Let me system. save the game. Antigone Memorial. Tuxedo cats. All right. Fan on Demeter autopilot off. Target left firing range. Target is now in firing range. Ah, 
He escaped with barely a scratch. Damn it, it's getting harder to uh, kill these guys. I think the more advanced Phenom... One of your ships is under attack. What? Omicron Lyrene. Who's attacking my ship? Oh, you. Uh, go home. Docking granted. Command accepted. Damn it. Oh, we're almost destroying it. No, let me reload. Because that's my TL and I spent like 70 million credits on it. And I saw that the hunter party was close to it. And that's why I even saved the game actually. Because I thought my, it might get attacked. Um, so yeah. Let's order my TL to move away for now. Docking Go home. Granted. Command accepted. See, there you go, the hunter part is already trying to intercept it. Fan on Demeter autopilot off. Damaged it a bit more this time. Okay, so what about those guys here? But see, that's why I wanted to destroy the hunter party because they're just scouring the universe and attacking any of my ships they can find. So that's why. But I cannot destroy them. They, they currently have too much firepower. I'll be able to take on them when I have a bunch of corvettes um, that I can set up in a wing. And, and go and attack them uh, but I, I don't think I will buy those corvettes instead I think I'll just wait until I'm able to build them speaking about that so we need the raster oil or silicon wafers microchips computer components yeah let me order um, let me order the HQ to buy some of these because it will be a long time until we uh, are able to produce all of them and instead we could buy some of them uh, for example we could buy computer component? no well let's see we could buy some ore we could buy some silicon wafers definitely um, so yeah uh, well actually it's, it's apparently I already ordered it to buy them uh, but they're too busy selling stuff, I think. My dock agents, yeah. Dude, why aren't you buying those things? That's weird. So, silicon wafers. Yeah, you can buy them. And... Ore, yeah. So why aren't you buying them? It's set to buy here. And silicon wafers here, it's set to buy. Everything is set to buy. I don't know why aren't they buying stuff. So apparently they are not able to get rid of the excess crystals. They keep on piling up. Uh, I had like 42,000 when we looked here last time. And now they are 45, almost 46,000. So I'm making a ton more crystals uh, than I can sell. That's very unfortunate. Like everybody's trying to sell crystals, but for some reason, we're really s terrible at it. Hmm, okay. Well, I could just say, look, you can keep a higher amounts of crystals uh, in the HQ, and that way they will be free to do other tasks. Until I get more dock agents, because that's the idea. I want to get at least double the number of dock agents so that they're able to get rid of excess dock quickly. Uh, so yeah, so let's just say, yeah, we can keep up to 50,000 crystals in, in stock. So stop trying to sell those things. Uh, so Frankish, uh, I will be making uh, the Corvette type that I'm currently flying, which is the Setanta. 
jump device. Uh, I have it. I have a blueprint for it already 20, here. Um, it takes uh, 40, some significant 50%, amount of resources, but 60, it's it's well worth 70. it. We will look at the stats uh, immediately. Enter. Okay, so the stats for for the Setanta. Uh, let's look at M6 ships at Corvettes. Uh, so it's here. Uh, so as you can see, it has very decent speed uh, for a Corvette, 155. It has very good shielding for a Corvette. It's essentially, I think, the maximum you can get. No, the maximum is the last one here with 8 200 megajoule shields, but that one is extremely slow. That's almost as slow as a destroyer. Um, all, all the other good shielding Corvettes have uh, the same amount of 7 200 megajoule shields. And... It has very good, uh, as you can see here, laser batteries, uh, 40,000 uh, energy uh, compared to the other ones. I mean, there are a few that have more than that. There is this one with 42,000, but that one is very slow. Uh, actually, no, the 40,000 one is the Quasar. Uh, the Setanta is 44,000. It's still pretty decent. I mean, since I'm restricting myself to Terran and ATF ships, I don't have much of a choice anyway. Um, so it's a, it's a good uh, Corvette. Uh, it has uh, 14 guns on it. It's pretty good. Let's see. Can I get uh, some missions here? To the I shall send the information. Okay. You are talking. What do you have? I am transmitting this. Okay. You are talking. What do you? Oh wait. You are. How many will this may prove to you? Okay. So we got tons of missions here. Let's attack this guy and finally destroy him. No good. That was good. Next one. Where are you? This guy. Um. Whoa! What's going on here? Tons of Phelan traders and some Xenon ships. Okay, well, let's attack this guy. No, these guys are fast. The Baldric Howlers are fast. The Drake is too heavily shielded for me right now. I guess I don't have a choice. Jump device charging at 10%. Yeah, it is an M6 Plus class, yes. Definitely, all those with 6 and higher number of shields uh, are M6 Plus. Entering system, Aladna Hill. Merry Christmas to you too, Frankish. <laughs> Kyote, no, it's 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 just a very uh, deep game. So you know the death that you will discover in the game is really all. Well, what's this guy? Off. Maybe we can attack this guy. Uh, apparently someone jumped just behind me. Good, we can attack him. So the death of a game is really up to you in a way. Like, you can ignore most of the aspects of a game. You don't have to play this mod. This mod is a mod designed for a late game uh, X3. And late game means that, yes, indeed, you build... Um... Let's see this guy. You build a fleet. And in order to build a fleet, yes, you do have to learn all those mechanics and get to the death of the game. But you don't have to do that. You know, there, there is the XRM mod, which is just pew pew kind of thing, where you fly your ship and then you get a better ship and fly that one, and you get a better ship and fly that one until you get, you get bored. You know, it's kind of like a sandbox thing. Okay. So many traders here. I, I guess I could just spend here the next. Uh, two hours and just destroy traders in this sector. Haha, <laughs> lol, watching X3 while playing Elite. Yes. Yeah, Kako. Yes, Aladna Hill and Black Hole Sun. And also get Sufune, I guess. Um, maybe even Grand Exchange a bit. Is there a way to make my merchants smarter or go between two nearby sectors without jumping? Um, so the sector traders can um, uh, trade uh, 
between different sectors, but only after they leveled up, I think, to level five at least. So below that, they won't be able to do that. And um, the way, I mean, the way you train your, your uh, sector traders is you just have to find a bunch of sectors that have many solar power plants and many factories in the same sector because every factory will want uh, energy cells and that's a really you know easy way to train your sector traders and once they get to level um uh, to level five or six you can move them you can order them to to be sector trader from another sector that has nearby sectors with solar power plants or things like that and then when you order it to, to uh, start as a sector trader, it will ask you what range should I look around the starting sector. And you can say one, right? Because you should look around for one sector around it. Hey, Kako, glad to see uh, someone um in that that um, knows a bit about the game I'm always happy to see X people because it's such an obscure game all right I think it's time to attack this guy before he jumps out Fanon Baldrick hauler now the thing with these Baldric Haulers, they aren't too well shielded, uh, but they're fast. Oh, he jumped no away. Aim. But he didn't drop any, um, any drones. That's interesting. Where did you go? He went to Zyra's stand. Let's see. Okay, I can intercept him. Jump device charging at... 10%. To drink, 20. yes, to drink more water. Thank you, Ikad. I always forget that, even when biking. Entering system, Zyoth's stand. Oh, he dropped the drones here. Where is he? Hey, what's going on? Where did you go? Jump device charging at 10%. He dropped the drones and flew away. Entering system, autopilot off. Come here, big boy. There's nowhere you can run from me. I have satellites in all the sectors in this universe. I can find you everywhere you go. No aim. Good. But now, because I destroyed him while his drones are here, that means his drones will attack my satellite. I think that's what will happen here. And that's annoying because I have to go in and drop another satellite. Let's see, any you more missions? We have blueprints, not interested. You are this guy. You are talking. You are oh, nice. Okay, so since I don't have much many minutes left for these, for the first two missions, I should just do them now. Right, so the first one, it's asking me to drop a jewelry M in Paranid Prime. So let's do that. You go to Paranid Prime. Command All right. Accepted. And in the meantime, I can search for new victims. There you go. This guy. Jump device. Time to die. Woohoo, Kako, four hour, Entering hundred system. hours. Jupiter That's hardcore. Autopilot off. He'll probably jump away, but I'll be able to do some hull damage. That means he'll be slow as hell after that. Attention, one of your ships is under attack. Yeah. Dominion. They just destroyed my satellite in Zyre Dominion, exactly like I told you it will happen. So we wait here and let our turrets destroy these turrets. Uh, sorry, our turrets destroy these, dro these drones. And let's see, yeah. They, oh no. They didn't uh, attack my satellite. That was a trader that was attacked by one of their fighter drones. Huh. 
Mm, okay, I don't care. My traders can take care of themselves. They can just jump away to safety. All right, dude, time to do that first mission. Drop factory. Uh, so uh, one of the things, I mean, since there are so many people in chat that I've played X and maybe they haven't played LeadCube, I'm going to repeat some of the things I said in, in the previous episodes. One of, one of the uh, new features that LeadCube added is the option to be able to remotely drop stations. And this makes b the build station missions extremely easy to do. So now my uh, TL ship, which has all the stations it needs to do the first mission, uh, I'll order it remotely. So special, remote drop factory. You need to drop the space jewelry M and select the beacon where it's supposed to drop Command it out. Accepted. And now we'll get the credits for the mission. Yeah, we're happy. Right, so let's go after this guy now that there are no drones. And the next 10%. mission, uh, we have to drop 20. a jump drive core factory 30. in circle of labor. 50%. So you. 60. Circle. 70. Ah. I didn't get to issue the order. Entering system. Sat autopilot off. Die. No aim. Good. We destroyed that guy. Let's look for the next victim. We have one here. Guys, uh, can you excuse me for a second here? Um... Okay, right. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I want to order my TL to jump to Circle of Labor. Command accepted. To drop the next station there. And now, what's going on here? What is my ship doing? Attention, one of your ships is under attack. Oh, okay. Attack. So they did Diarch destroy my satellite, Dominion. like I expected. That's fine. Where is this guy? I want to destroy him. Uh, but he's kind of far away. Do I still have energy cells? Oh, I just ran out of energy cells. Not good. Let me jump to... No, I don't think I'm close enough to the jump uh, beacon. And I'll order my uh, supply ship, which has only like... It's, I only use it for this kind of special needs. Um... I'll order it to bring me some energy cells, so I'll need some energy cells. Oh yeah, actually in LeadCube, uh, you can have a thing called quick shuttles. So you can have, uh, you can assign this ship to automatically come and, and bring your fu fuel every time you need it. And you can assign a hotkey to call it. Um, so let's think about that a bit. Um, so quick shuttles. I can assign as a fuel shuttle my supply ship this one okay okay i have assigned it what now now i think i need to uh, assign a keyboard shortcut not not here um controls so quick shuttle fuel go quick shuttle fuel home what yeah but not doesn't make much sense but i think what it means is the first one it calls it on you and the second one orders it to go home to go back home so i could do um i should use a key where like if i press it normally it comes to me and if i press it hold it holding shift it goes back home you know and so is there a key like uh is i know i is assigned Oh man, I'm running out of keys here. Um, can I do what? No, that one. It's assigned. Hmm. What about semicolon? Let's see. Okay. Apply. And then to go home, shift semicolon. 
All right. Good. Let's remember this, people. Right. So, uh, now I need to set my uh, refuel properly because I will get the amount of fuel depending on this setting. So I want about 300 refuel quantity. 300 jumps refuel quantity. The refuel quantity is expressed in the number of jumps you want to be able to do. Uh, I mean in the number of sectors you want to be able to go over in a jump, something like that. Uh, so let's call it. Command accepted. All right. Energy cells. It's coming. Let's see. The supply ship here. Yeah, it's coming. I think I asked for a lot. For too much, maybe. Let's see. It should be jumping. Yeah, there you go. It jumped there. And now it should be using... Yeah, it did it. Let's see, how much do we have? We have plenty. Good. Let's order it to go home. Shift semicolon. Command accepted. And now I should jump away. Hey, go home, dude. Yeah, there you go. Cool. I like this, man. I love these things in Litcube's universe where they he automated all these all these. Uh, up, uh, all these actions that you would need to do very often in the game. Jump device charging at I like 10%. that. Yeah, uh, Frankish, I can understand that. I think X2 is still somewhat okay in terms of um, graphics and everything, but the first X talking? that's... Is there something I can hear on the prices? Okay, not interested. You are talking? Is it good? Transmitting information. Good. Oh man, we're getting tons of you missions. You are talking? What? There's this mission should Ah, uh, no, not interested. Alright, so, um... Circle of Labor. What do we need to build in Circle of Labor? We need to build, um... Jump Drive Core Factory. Okay. So you. Drop... Jump Drive Core Factory. This one. Oh my god. Like four different missions in circle of labor. Command okay, drop accepted. it there. Incoming message. What else do we have in a circle of labor? We have space fuel distillery L. Do we have that? No. No, we don't have it. What else do we have? Yes. Split Pulse Beam Emitter Forge. That one we have in stock, so we can drop it. Uh, split Pulse Beam Emitter Forge. Command okay. accepted. Incoming message. Let's see. Uh, what else do we have? Teladianum Foundry M is in Duke's Vision, and I think I have that on me. So I should go and do it. Okay. Jump to Duke's vision. Command accepted. Cool. So we did our first set of missions here. We still have tons of them to do. Hopefully I won't forget about them. And in terms of money, yes, definitely we're rolling in now. So after we drop that station. Uh, so yeah, that's the question because I have only a single TL ship. So I can either do these build station missions or I can use it to uh, build my uh, Saturn complex hubs. And now I have enough money to do the next uh, complex hub. So the question is what to do. So it takes about one hour. Uh, these things expire in one hour. I think I should do all these missions that expire in about under two hours. And after that I can, well actually they all are around the same value except the last one here mm. yeah i think i should just go through the missions a bit more mm, bef because otherwise they will expire anyway i can make more money in the meantime oh so this guy docked here i wasn't able to reach him because he has a fast ship no problem we'll be waiting for him outside and let's see how are my dock agents doing? So they're not selling crystals. Oh, they're still, they still went on selling crystals again. Oh my god. I have too many crystals. Phantom Baldrick. This guy just went out of the station. Wait. Uh, 
and he jump away. Great, that was great work. I hate it when they jump away. I hate it. What's going on here? I'm making way too many crystals, I think. I can't keep up with it. Yeah, yeah there you go. Now they're already over 50,000. Uh, and again, my dock agents will just be busy selling crystals instead of selling alpha particle cannons or things that make me a lot more money. Like the, these 870 alpha particle cannons, like if we look at the total asset value, we can see how much those are evaluated to, to cost. Uh, I mean, how much profit I would get on them. Yeah, there you go. So if you look uh, here, alpha particle cannon, 870 uh, of them, that would give me 70 million credits. Uh, but the crystals would give me a lot more credits too, but of course, for some reason, they're not able to sell crystals that quickly. Um, okay, well... But also, like, the annoying thing is they have to level up. They're really low-level dock agents now, so they take a ton of time sorting dockwares and stupid things like that. Hey, dude. One last fighter drone remaining. So, this guy. Drop the factory. Command accepted. Maybe I should buy a second message. TL, you know? Maybe I should do that because uh, things are ramping up and I need to be able to work with two TLs at the same time. A single TL is just not, it's just not sufficient. Yeah, I think I'll do that now. All right, so I think my favorite TL here is because I'm restricting myself to Terran and, um, Terran and ATF ships is the one called the mining base ship or something like that sold uh, in the united space command shipyard in uranus um yeah this one mobile mining base ship because it has a very large cargo bay uh, so it can carry more factories when building the saturn complex hub yeah let's see yeah i haven't looked at chat for a long time um so if anybody said anything that they need me to reply to, please say it again. Um, I'm gonna play this one it's very buggy, but if it is in my game lost voice, if you still work, I have to rely on subtitle. Oh, oh yeah, with the patches, yeah. It is Frankish. Uh, it's uh, just type uh, exclamation mark game. It's part of the external uh, pack. Essentially what happens, you have to click on options or something like that to, r to launch uh, Albion Prelude. If you just click on play, that launches Terran Conflict. It's kind of a weird interfacing. Do I need to restart afresh when I start external? Well, it will start you afresh, what do you mean? Uh, I mean, you will still uh, be able to use much of your knowledge from Reunion, but uh, a lot of the UI has changed in Terran Conflict. The good news though is that the, most of the changes are for the better, and um, those same changes are present in Albion Prelude, so once you've learned the, uh, the changes in Terran Conflict, you'll be able to apply them for Albion Prelude. Okay. So let's buy this TL ship here. Uh, let's see. It needs five 200 megajoule shields. Okay. It has tons of turrets. So, oh man. Okay. Uh, so right, left, back, up. Okay. So right, left, back. So I can put some gamma ray cannons on the right and left. And everything else, I think I'll just put uh, electromagnetic. Um, electromagnetic plasma cannon. So, so two electromagnetic plasma cannon. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, oh my god, okay. So let's buy it. Ship. Let's give it some energy cells, initial energy cells. Energy cells bought. Electromagnetic plasma cannon. No, dude, not 33. What are you talking about? Electromagnetic plasma cannon installed. 
200 megajoule shield installed. Engine, two Engine tuning. Optimization. I want it installed. to be as fast as it can. I have these two already. Special command software. So let's see, what else do we need to put on it? Uh, so it's fully shielded. Uh, we have two electromagnetic plasma pins in front. Uh, we'll need two. No, we want um, two gamma ray cannons. And well, I guess I can put in the back too. It doesn't matter. So I can do four. So eight gamma ray cannons, and then two more electromagnetic uh, plasma cannons. So eight gamma ray cannons. Gamma ray cannons. And two installed. more of these. Electric. Let's see. Yeah, looks good. And let's give it order for alter. It's just the missile defense. And now it doesn't have a jump drive, unfortunately. So I'll have to order it to go to Saturn Research Station, which isn't too far. Oh. It cannot dock at the Saturn Research Station because it's a TL ship. So I'll, then we'll do something else. Um, I think I can have my supply ship go and give it to it its jump drive, and then I have I can have a supply ship go and buy a jump drive uh, that on its own, right? Um, okay. So let's see. You. You should supply. Wait. Uh, first things first, I need to rename this ship Gog Mover 2. And the first Gog Mover just zero on here. Right. And the first Gog Mover should go and try to buy Argon Space Fuel Distillery L. Distillery L. So many things to do, so little time. Cloud base southeast. Command accepted. All right, you go and do that. Now the second mover, you go and idle Command in space accepted. or something. And now the supply, I can order to supply you with um, a jump drive. The supply ship, I can order it. So yeah, you a jump drive. One, of course. Oh wait, uh, I needed to give it to the second mover, this one. Yes. Uh, you should give it that. Command accepted. Good. And now my supply ship will automatically uh, fly towards the TL and give it the jump drive it has, jump drive it has, and then I can order my supply ship to go and buy a jump drive that it needs. Because without a jump drive, uh, my supply ship will be useless anyway. Unfortunately, there is no mechanism uh, to uh, carry equipment as if it's normal wear, where you can carry multiple of them and just distribute it to your ships. You, in order, w when you're trying to supply a ship with equipment, you're essentially just giving up your own equipment. That's what you're doing. So then you need to go and buy uh, other equipment to replace it and jump drive is a type of that equipment so my guys here are very busy of course with dock agents uh, so this guy oh well, at least this guy is going to sell the alpha particle cannon so i'll get 70 million credits soon enough so that's good how much money do i have i have a ton of money anyway not a problem let's see my supply ship is going now to give to give a second TL of a jump drive. And since we have to kill some time, maybe we can destroy this guy. Whoa, where is he going? Wait. Jump device charging at 10%. Entering system, unseen domain. Uh, Kako, have you heard of X Rebirth 4.0? It looks like a very interesting um, DLC they're adding, uh, Home of Light. So that looks interesting. Yeah, it's re really sad what happened because it could have been so much more. 
but I think with all these patches, it's a decent game, probably. I mean, I haven't played it myself, I'll, I'll have to make my own opinion when I'll play it. Of course, it won't be X4, but it's still probably a decent game. Oh, Ikak, yes. Wait. Susanova, yeah, I think it was my uh, favorite ship from um, uh, Terran Conflict, or was that Reunion, I don't remember, it was so fast, and still, you know, had a punch, yeah, the pirate skins look awesome, the textures, alright, Fan on Fall to autopilot off. Oh yeah. He has a new set of drones because I took too long to go after him. So at least he's dead now and he dropped normal drones. Okay, I don't need to change my weapons. Good. Alright. Let's see what my supply ship is doing. Yeah, so he just uh, gave my second TL a uh, jump drive and now he's going to buy a jump drive to replace it uh, for the one that he gave away. Good, so now my second TL has a jump drive. Great, so now I can say, let's configure the auto jump settings. So jump all the time, blah, 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 blah. And you should dock at the headquarters because I want to give you more equipment. Docking granted. Command accepted. It was very badly received because it was um, there were a ton of mistakes done uh, at all levels for that game. First of all, this, the initial idea for the game was to not even be a next game it, it was to be some kind of more action oriented pew pew type of shooter then they changed their minds uh, also they wanted to make it to consoles so they many design decisions were done um, because of that then they changed their minds and they said oh, okay let's bring it to pc and let's actually make it in the x universe and let's try to make it like a next game so of course when you do those kind of things in the last minute and then you release it uh, you release it abruptly without being well tested and what oh, people are destroying my satellites and it will drop more satellites yeah speaking about that I should go and drop a satellite here Jump because someone destroyed it recently and of course w w when in a softer project in a large software project make last minute decisions that have huge consequences for the project of course the release will be really bad quality it was basically uh, almost unplayable i mean if you read the review scores for both critics and users it's, it's some of the worst received game ever now egosoft is egosoft which means they release um many free updates years after uh free or maybe not so free some of them and so right now the game is maybe a hundred times better than what it was initially hey what what is going on here oh my god there is a xenon carrier and a frigate and tons of fighters around yeah okay well i'll ignore all that i'll go do my business argon space fuel distillery l you argon space fuel distillery l all right, and after that, do I need anything else from the Argon? We need a Kahuna Bakery M. Do we have that here? Yeah, we do. Do I need anything else from the... We need a Particle Accelerator Cannon Forge. Do we have that here? Yes, we do. Party. Great. What else do I need from the Argon? No, that's all. Good. Going back. Uh, split Rasta Refinery M. Split Rastar Refinery M. 
family rye. Command accepted. Great. You go and find that. This second TL ship is now going to try to dock with my HQ. You you can already see my HQ has tons of activity. Traders just going back and forth. That's how a headquarters should look like, right? You should have tons of traders moving about. <laughs> Those pew pew sounds just make me want to go back and watch episodes 4, 6 of Star Wars again. <laughs> Yeah, good point, Burn Pies. No problem, TW Clary. Good to see you here regardless. You don't have to listen to the stream, you know, you can just be in chat. It's a community of same uh, minded people, right? Yeah, J2 Rambo. Yeah, yesterday we had Knights of Old Republic. That was a bit of a weird stream. Um, I'm, I'm a very new streamer uh, in general and on this channel too. And um, so that means I only have experience with some games like the X series that I'm doing here, uh, which, you could, which you can probably tell I'm much more comfortable streaming uh, than I was yesterday satellite. with Knights of Old Republic. With, with RPGs, things are a bit different. It's harder to stream RPGs, I think. I mean, I think it requires a different type of streamer. For example, I'd rather see uh, Outstar uh, do an RPG stream. I think, I think she's uh, a, a great type of streamer to do that kind of game. Uh, okay, so we dropped a satellite here, and in Sio's doubt, someone destroyed a satellite. Here. Okay, let's go there and drop another one. Jump device charging at 10%. Yeah, that's a lot of Xenon. Uh, they have a carrier. It's like an invasion. In Litcube's universe, we have all these Entering invasions. Seals doubt. I hope they won't destroy my satellite and I have to go and deploy yet another one. Jump device charging at 10%. 20. Ah, oh, man, this. This background music here, it's the music from the Terran Conflict intro. Probably one of my favorite pieces of music in the X Games. So those damn pirates, those destroyed my satellite. And they will pay for it with their lives. Autopilot alert. Missile closing. Oh, they're trying to fire a missile at me. Boys. Let's fire a chaff. See the chaff, how it's going directly towards the enemy missiles and it's going to destroy it. Boom! Chaff are awesome in Litcube's universe. They actually do what they're meant to do. They're replacing the mosquito missiles. Pirate Buster. Die. You destroy my satellites, On you die. On behalf of Chairman CEO, the Teladi Company are grateful for your timely help in the saving of much profit. As a reward, you get 1,000 credits. Ram. Cargo bay now contains what? passenger. Oh, that guy just bailed out. Pirate scimitar. And I took the passenger. Let's see. I have this guy, Ganatos Yushinusos, the seventh. So he has a Teladi name, and he's of a race pirates. Pirates is a race or something. Dude, I don't need you. Just eject him to. Base Passenger dust. ejected. And let me drop my satellite and be over it. Autopilot activated. Apparently there's even a Phenon trader around here. Let's put him on the first monitor. Good. So, what is my first TL doing? Got to the split shipyard. So we can buy now the split Rasta Refinery M. And now, do we need anything else from the split? We need a Mason Mill L. Does that shipyard have it? A Mason Mill L. Mason. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so now we just need a Teladi Squash Mine Factory. Squash. Ministry of Finance. Good. Command We're done with that. The second TL has just docked at the base, at the home, home um, uh, headquarters, I mean. And we can now configure equipment for it from the headquarters directly. In the Dockware Manager window here, you can actually upgrade your ships just like you do at any of the NPC docks. This is another thing added by Litcube. So you go to the Upgrade Ship option here, and you select, for example, the Gog Mover 2. And I can upgrade its cargo bay, so I have engine tuning rudder already done. Let me buy him a quantum jump gate extension. Quantum jump gate extension. And a trading system trading extension. System extension. And probably well, also a trade, trade command, command software command and a triplex scanner. scanner. And actually oh. I should so the um, uh, the equipment that you have available on your uh, headquarters that you can use to upgrade your ships, that is also purchased separately. You go here to order licensing and I want to get also uh, trade command software MK1. Uh, it costs, I mean, they cost about six times the price that that equipment would cost normally. But you do this only once. After that, every time you need to equip, equip one of your ships, you just pay the normal price. Let's see. Oh, thank you, J2 Rambo. Good background music is in Kingdom End. Okay, I'll try to play that at the end of the stream then. I, I think I know what that song. I guess he didn't pay for that right. No, he didn't. He was <laughs> taking uh, cargo space in my ship. No hitchhikers, yes. And he didn't even have a towel anyway. You can, so Frankish, you can take uh, astronauts uh, and you can do two things with them. You can even train them as your own Marines, which by the way, we have some Marines that are being trained right now. We started their training uh, process on the last stream. So yeah, it's a really long time to train them. So you can either train them as your own um, marines, or you can sell them as slaves. I, if you dock at a pirate basis, I think you can sell them as slaves. So you can make some money, but not a lot. Uh, okay. Um, what else do I want? I want transporter device. Yes, 17 million. Oh man, that's other one. And what else? Uh, we want to have a jump drive here, so that we can configure ships with jump drive. Uh, we well oh yeah and the Plutarch tractor system oh my God, I'm not gonna order this because 100 million and I I only need this rarely it's just for my TLs I basically I only need it for my TL so I can order my TL to go and buy uh, himself to buy this thing from the NPC dock I don't need it at my headquarters so I'm not gonna pay 100 million to have it at my headquarters but these the best buys and best price locator I, I will buy them. All right, I think that's good for now. So let's see, go back to upgrade ship. And now see, now we have best buys locator, best, best selling price, selling locator. price locator. We have this Trade one. And the transporter device. device. So now we can actually upgrade our ships with these things if they are docked at the headquarters. Good. And like I said, I want him to have a Plutarch mining system. So I'll order him to go and buy it himself. Uh, so I need equipment. And it's the Plutarch mining, the tractor system. Yeah, see, so the, the price of the equipment costs about 37 million, but in order to have it at your headquarters so that you can give it to your ships, you'd have to initially pay 100 million, and then you can pay 37 million every time you upgrade your ships with it. PTNI headquarters. And since I only need to do that very rarely for my TL ships, I, it's, there's no point to, to uh, have it on my headquarters. <laughs> Live ammunition. <laughs> That's a good one. Um, let's see what my dock agents are doing. Oh yeah, finally they're buying some ore. Someone is doing something useful because they're all too busy selling crystals and whatnot. And someone is buying Rastar oil. That's good. But I actually built my Rastar complex soon enough. So I don't think I need that. Let me go and tell them to not buy any Rastar oil. Yeah. No, I don't need it. Because I'll have my complex soon up and running. 
No, don't buy any. They already bought a lot, so I actually see that they already bought most of it that I need. And they bought a lot of ore too. Oh, that's pretty good. And silicon wafers. Hey man, they actually did some of the stuff they were meant to do. Good. And where is this guy? So there is a trader ship somewhere here in this sector. We drop a satellite. Advanced satellite ejected. Great. Pirate spacesuit. Yeah, pirate spacesuit. Where is this guy? Fanon Mercury. Let's try to follow him. Ah, he's going that way. He's trying to go to that station, I think. And he'll probably make it, but I'll go after him after he jumps away. And in the meantime, I need the Teladi squash mine. So the first TL, good, got at the Teladi shipyard squash mine. Squash. Do we need anything else from the Teladi? We need a Dream Farm M. Okay. Does this shipyard have it? Yes, it does. Dream. We need um, concussion impulse generator forge. Okay, does the shipper have that? No, it does not. Okay, right. well, then there's no point. So the next thing on the list here, uh, I think we bought this. We bought the Kahuna Bakery M. We bought the pack, the particle accelerator cannon, and we need the boron plankton farm M now. Uh, go back to factories or on plankton farm M. Lucky planets. Good. Command accepted. How much time do I have? I have 35 minutes until I need to deploy the station for the first mission. That's fine. It's it's plenty of time. Money rolling in it. Good, good. And my dock agents still doing their things. So let's see. I think I, I'll be able to build. Yes. See, I'm now able to build a Baldrick Super Freighter. Uh, let's see. What's limiting me? The ore and the silicon wafers only allow me to build one. And after that, Rastar Oil only allows me to build two. And computer components only allows me to build three of them. The other resources allow me to build a lot, a lot more. Right. Okay. So let's do that. Let me show you our first ship that we'll build from our headquarters, which is also our shipyard. So let's save. Uh, where is that? Here. Okay. Um, so, headquarters. And now we can add, say, a Baldrick Super Freighter to the production queue. To, to make it. Let's do that. Now one thing in Litcube, he has altered the time it takes to produce ships to make them blazing fast. Uh, a Baldrick Super Freighter probably takes like under a minute. You can build uh, heavy heavy fighters in, in, um, in under a minute. So let's see if we check the status. Yeah, there you go. So it takes 30 seconds to build a Baldrick Super Freighter. That's how fast things move in Litcube's universe. But it makes sense because you're meant to build a huge fleet and it would be, you know, kind of silly to have to wait hours to say build uh, 10 fighters when you will need hundreds of them. Great, we just built our first ship, people. I think uh, this is worth uh, for a toast with some water. And we got the combat music here because this guy has undocked from the station and we will be attacking him any second now. Ah, I don't have the right weapons. Damn it. Again, I forgot I didn't have the... Um, the trader assassination weapons. Yeah, but we're doing some damage here. Pretty good damage. Next time we'll go after him, he'll be moving much slower, as we took 60% of his hull down. Uh, 
And let's wait here for our turret to destroy the fighter girls. Hey, <laughs> cack. Right, so here is our Bal Baldrick Super Freighter, the first ship we built. It can see it's a naked ship, that is, it doesn't have shields, it doesn't have anything on it. No equipment, no weapons. We will need to uh, to use some that we have stored on the mm, on the headquarters, because I've, I've done that. If we look here at the headquarters, we have uh, 50, 25 megajoule shields already stored. We have 50 plasma guns already stored. So uh, we will use those to equip, equip that ship. And more than that, we will actually define a template so that next time we make a Baldr Baldrick Super Freighter and we need to equip it in the exact same way, we can use a template to do it really quickly. That's another thing Litcube did uh, to uh, make it more efficient uh, to, uh, to create and equip uh, tons of ships. You define templates and then you use the template. Right, so... Um, yeah, let's go after this guy now. Jump device charging at 10%. Entering system, unseen domain. Uh, wait, let me destroy him first, then we can focus on... Phantom Mercury Hauler. No aim. Good. Now, uh, so the TL has gotten the Royal Born Shipyard. That means we can buy the Plankton Farm M. Great. What else do we need from the Boron? We don't need anything. We're good. We're good. We only The only thing that we're missing now is the Teladi Concussion Impulse Generator Forge. And I'm not sure if we have time. Ah, we do have time. Okay. So, the Lady Concussion Impulse Generator Force. This one, CIG Force. CO's bright. Command Good. Accepted. And now, let's uh, finally equip our Baldrick Super Freighter, which we just built. First, we'll upgrade it with some equipment. Uh, of course, full cargo, cargo bay extension, bay engine, engine tuning, tuning radar, radar optimization. optimization. We need the combat, combat command combat software, combat the jump drive, drive, quantum jump quantum gate extension, extension. Um, trade, trade command trade software, command trade system, system extension. extension. We don't need the transporter Bolt. device, we need triplex Tri scanner. scanner. And I think we need station agent software, right? Because without station agent software, I cannot turn it into, um, into a dock agent. Let's see. Yeah, see, I don't have a dock agent option. So we need to license first the station agent software and then we can have it at our HQ. So order licensing. And I want the station agent software. It's kind of expensive, but only we only do that once. Good. And oh. now I can uh, add it to my Baldrick Super Freighter. Uh, station agent software. Station Good. agent software bought. Good. Now what it needs is some shields and weapons. I think they uh, need, let's see, 6 25 megajoule shields and in terms of weapons, 4 plasma guns should be more than enough. So, 6 25 shields megajoule shield and 4 plasma gun weapons. Plasma gun installed. Now let's configure it a bit. Um, so turret commands is missile Command defense accepted. and it should always auto jump with distance zero and refuel resupply should be about 100. Enough uh, missile fire probability should be just zero because it's not going to have missiles anyway. And as home base we can set our HQ. And I think we're done configuring it, which means now we can create a template based on it so that we can use the exact same configuration with future ships. So, let's go to the template manager and select the... So add template and go and find our ship. This one, your Baldrick Super Freighter below there. Enter. And now it asks me for a name for that template. So let's call it uh, the, um, the Baldrick... Super Freighter DA. DA stands for Dock Agent. So this will be a template that I'll use to build um, Dock Agents of a type Baldrick Super Freighters. To equip, I mean, not to build. Building is done before this. 
Right, so if I click on it, Baldrick Super Freighter DA. So you can see here, it, the template stores everything about this ship. Uh, it's a weapon configuration. Uh, it's, oh, one thing I forgot. I forgot to give it uh, energy cells, some initial energy cells. So let's remove that template and go back and give it some energy cells. A thousand should be enough initially. Energy. And now try to create the template again. You cannot actually edit a template, you can only delete and add them. So it's kind of annoying. Uh, but let's try that again. Good. So, we have all the equipment we need, training system Okay, we've done all the upgrades, the turret configuration is good. Auto jump configured, fuel resupply, everything cool. Great, great. Now that we've created a template for it, we can also order this ship to become a new dock agent. So become a new dock agent. Great. Now it's, it's the 12th dock agent here. It was added to this list. And let's see, can we create more or we don't have resources? No, we don't. We're limited by the amount of ore and silicon wafers we have stored. So we'll need to address that soon. But uh, my first complex will be about raster oil, though. And speaking about that, let's see, our second TL went here because we want to buy the Plutarch tractor system. Control. Great. And I think now this TL is fully equipped with everything it needs. So let's save. Uh, here. We just got a message. Oh yeah, <laughs> the supply ship we ordered like an hour ago to supply our TL with a jump drive uh, did that and then he went on to buy his own jump drive to replace it and now he's saying, hey dude, I just finished my job. Well, okay, great, good for you. You did well. Okay, uh, since now the second TL is ready for action, we should probably order it to go and dock at the um, at the shipyard that sells the Saturn complex hubs because we want Locking to build granted. a Saturn complex Command hub. Accepted. And the first DL, we have one last purchase for it, the Teladi concussion impulse generator. Concussion Done. Impulse gener and now we have all the stations we need to do all these missions. So this will be fun. Okay, first mission drop fuel distillery L in circle of labor so you go there circle of labor Command accepted. and drop fuel distillery L fuel distillery L argon space fuel distillery okay. command accepted Incoming message. First good extreme I've seen in a while and Twitch is being twitchy again. Oh, sorry, Kako. Um, I'm using, I'm streaming at a, a bit towards a high end of a spectrum here. Uh, so it's 1080p and it's uh, 3500 uh, kilobits uh, per second uh, for the video alone, which is pushing it a bit. I think that's kind of a maximum recommended by Twitch. It works fine for many people, but some people are experiencing problems. See if it helps if you drop the quality from source to just high. It should still look pretty decent because I'm not moving around. I'm not doing a lot of active action movement combat here. Uh, while it might then work very well, you know, in terms of uh, no lag and things and no interruptions. All right, next thing. We need, wait, but there was another mission to do in Circle of Labor, I think. Ah, there you go. We need a Plankton Farm M in Circle of Labor. So you do that. Plankton Farm M. That's a Boron, right? Right. Here. Command oh man, I think I, I stacked three different stations in the same at the same point. Incoming That's message. fine. Okay, next. Next we need a uh, Rasta Refinery M in Omicron Lyrie. Omicron Lyrie. Command accepted. Rasta Refinery M. Split. Yes. 
Command accepted. Next. Next, we need a Teladi squash mine Incoming in Ralk's Drift. Ralk's Drift. Command accepted. And Teladi squash mine. Yes. Command accepted. What do we need next? Teladi dream farm in Light of Heart. Incoming message. Command accepted. Okay, drop the Ladi Dream Farm M. Command accepted. What do we need next? We need a Kahuna Bakery M in uh, Menelaus message. Frontier. Menelaus Frontier. Command Kahuna accepted. Bakery M. Drop uh, Argon Kahuna Bakery M. Command accepted. What's next? Argon Particle Accelerator Cannon in Ralk's Fate. Incoming message. Let's do that. Ralk's Fate. Command accepted. Particle Accelerator Cannon. Command accepted. What do we need next? Teladi Concussion Impulse Generator Forge in Family Knee in G. No, Family in G. The, the names the split Command families have are so hard to pronounce. Uh, concussion Command accepted. And the last one, a split Mesa Mill L in Zyar Stand. Command accepted. Since we don't have a satellite there, we might not be able to see where the navigation relay is exactly like i said see we don't see it that means i need to order my tl to just jump to the center of the sector Command maybe it's accepted. visible from there it has a triplex scanner so it has high visibility yes it is visible it's here and of course the xenon have a super destroyer and a carrier just roaming around that sector no wonder i don't have a satellite Command in there accepted. and this was the last mission so we just Incoming did like 20 message. missions in under five minutes and let's see yeah well not 20 about nine and we should have a ton of money from that yeah about probably about 100 million or maybe a bit less than that and now instead of sitting in space like a duck there in Zyar stand you should actually go um you should go home go to the HQ where it's safe and now this other TL uh, has he has gotten to the shipyard so now we can buy the Saturn complex hub of so like I said size 380 right and it's raster refinery right okay so let's do that uh, let me say first have you lubricated your throat lady no thank you for reminding me Oh, Kako is on low and it's still buffering. Oh man, I'm sorry to hear that because on low, it's probably the quality is pretty bad anyway, and it's still buffering. Oh, damn it. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, okay, so, um, United, uh, okay, I said 380 the size, right? This one. Good. Now, I need you. Uh, where do we deploy that? So, let's see, the calcul. The computation was done with a sun intensity of 400. Yes, right. So one of the things I didn't talk about in the beginning. So most of my initial stations were dropped in Terran B, uh, which is in Terran space. But I have also started to drop some stations in Legends Home, which is Argon space. Let me show you where that is. So this is where Legends Home is. It's actually close to my HQ. My HQ is here in Y Alpha. But actually, the reason why I dropped in Legends Home, it's more pragmatic than that. Um, the unknown sector beta which is very near near here it's actually one of the richest 
um, sectors in terms of asteroid yields in Litcube's universe. It's huge. It has over 10,000 silicon wafers, uh, 10,000 yield silicon wafers and ore and something like that. And at the same time, Legends Home is a pretty high, uh, has a pretty high value in terms of sun intensity. You can see here it has 400 sun intensity, while Unknown Sector Beta, which has all those asteroids, only has 150. So I'm trying to basically shoot two, um, uh, to hit two uh, birds with one rock. Uh, by deploying in a sector with high sun intensity which makes things a bit cheaper because then the solar power plants are more efficient so you don't need as many of them but at the same time because it's really close to this sector with many asteroids it's really cheap to move all those asteroids yields to legends home so my complexes can use them so that was my reasoning why i've started to use this sector now and the next complex we will be deploying it just there so you jump to legends home in the center doesn't Command matter accepted. and i'll come there too because i need to be there in order to decide where to deploy the station jump device charging at 10 percent <laughs> yeah but, but you know i really appreciate your reminders so i really legends do appreciate home. them thanks I think I'm actually feeling great right now, and you can probably tell because uh, because of that, among other things. You are talking. Spit it out. Oh, we get some missions here. Uh, okay, I'll take that. You and are you? Talking. Yeah, I'll take that. And you? you are talking. I've got transmitting information. I'll take that too. Okay, we just you got three missions because we haven't done missions in a long time, right? Ha ha. Um, and since we've got missions, we need to buy an Argon Flail Missile Production Facility. Okay. Argon Flail Missile Production Facility. Legends Home. Oh yeah, so those will actually be bought from this same sector. Those factories that I need to deploy. Eh, it doesn't matter. So you. Mobile mining base ship. You drop your station. The Saturn Complex Hub. Uh, let's see, I need to go... Where Where can I drop it? Okay, so I'll drop it below the north gate, I think. That would be a good place. Let's see. If I go there... Yeah, I can do that. I can drop it below the north gate. Um... Oh, okay. I think this is good. I think this is good. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good. Command accepted. If we look towards the north gate, there you go. You can see the two complexes, one above it and one below it, and probably the next ones will be left of it and right of it and so on. We just, you know, deploy around the gates so that our traders can jump in and then make just a short trip towards them. And now since you deployed the complex hub, you should also take care of shopping for it. That is, buy all the stations that it needs. So, trade menu. Oh, oh yeah. I cannot do that until I first set the configuration on the complex hub. So, let's rename it. It's a GOG. Mm, I said I'm going to make Rastar, right? So, Rastar Oil SCH 380. Good. And now set its configuration. We want raster oil. Great. Now the configuration is set. It's only waiting for asteroid yields and factories to install inside. So you go and shop for it. Command accepted. Great. Um, all that is set up. I guess I can go and kill some more phenom. And. Uh, these guys are those uh, the hunting party that is so hard no to aim. kill. And that guy. Where are these guys? They're in Seal Stout. Yeah, I'll need soon enough. I'll need some ships to take those guys down because if they go into my home sector, I'm screwed. Jump device. I, I mean, well, in the worst case, if I see them going towards my home sector, I'll just quickly buy some uh, and equip some. Um, some corvettes or i can even afford frigates because i think a frigate is around 100 million credits and i can afford that i can buy like three frigates and then they it would be Entering easy system. to kill them Elena's all fortune. the reason why i was delaying is because i want to build my fleet i don't want to buy it most of it so that's why i was delaying but if i see them 
threatening my home sector, yes, definitely I'll do something like that in an emergency. Uh, and that was another reason why I moved to the sector Y, because I said it's eas more easily to defend. As you can see here, in order to get to my home sector, first you have to go through these sectors. And, and so like it, there's only one way to get to it. So that should buy me enough time to buy a quick, uh, a quick defensive fleet uh, if I need it in an emergency. <laughs> Chikstra. Uh, you know, I think I said this before on another stream. Uh, the uh, professional cyclists, they, they just do it, you know, while cycling. Um, and sometimes they take a pit stop um, uh, in one of the vans that the people around that are watching, the spectators have. Hello, COVID Knights. Glad to see you here. So let's try to destroy this guy. Ah, I have a mission here. You are talking. Encoding data. Ah, not interested. You are talking. Is it transmitting? And not interested. Oh, he deployed his drones Fan already. On. Vulture advance. Man, this this uh the the latest Fanon subsidiaries, they deploy their drones much quicker than the previous ones. I guess that's the idea, they should be harder to beat. I still did some hull damage and after I'll destroy these uh, drones, I will go after him and finish the job. Guys, let me try to adjust my microphone a bit here because it's way too low and I can't move my hand all over the keyboard. Yeah, like that. Okay, it's better. Okay, wait for the turrets to kill the drones. And what else is going on around here? This guy is going to go there. This guy is shopping for stations for the Saturn Complex Hub. How much money do I have? I have enough. I'll probably have enough to, to look at the next uh, Saturn Complex Hub. So let's do that. Let's research what the next one should be. Uh, if we look at the um, at our options for building stuff, we're currently limited by ore and silicon wafers a lot. So I guess the next target should be ore. All right. So if I want to build a Saturn complex hub of size 380, let's say, that produces ore, how much does that cost? Ah, oh, it's pretty cheap. Um, Almost 500 million credits. I'll get back to it immediately. Wait a second. I have to go and kill this guy. Now that there are no drones left. Entering system. Oh, Frankish. What I love about uh, X Games, one of the many things I love, is the fact that you get all those settings, graphic settings, before actually launching the game. That you can set in you know, a window mode. It even works with multiple displays. So you just can set it, well, run in a window or run full screen on this other display and so on. It's really good from that point of view. And it's a really old game. I mean, usually only very modern games have those kind of options. But this is an old game. Target left firing range. Target is now in firing range. No Done. Let's go for the next victim and then we see about other things. I'm, I'm essentially always trying to work very effectively, like not uh, waste any time. This guy. Jump device. Good. And like I said, we want to do uh, or mine. Um, when deciding on the size of the complex that you want to do, um, you should always look to have the most efficient factories in your complex. Now, factories that produce the same thing many times come with different sizes. For example, if a solar power plant has most of the options, you have solar power plant M, you have solar power plant L, you have solar power plant XL. Now, the larger they are, the more efficient they are in terms of the money it costs and the products it makes per hour, right? It makes sense, right? So, Ideally, 
you want to go for a Saturn complex hub size that has only Saturn uh, that has only solar power plants XL and has only L size factories for the other, other types of factories. That would be the most efficient in terms of money. So that's why I usually start with a size and then I start adjusting up and down as I try to find uh, an option that is very efficient. Come on, get closer, get closer. Done. He will jump away, but will have very little hull left. <laughs> 1%. No, he didn't jump away. He didn't have a chance to. That's good. Any missions for us? You are talking. Split Mesa Mill M. Very hard. Good. You are you are Going to get good money on that one. Uh, I don't want to buy this uh, blueprint. I'm not interested in blueprints that aren't for Terran ships. Anyway. And good. So, let's go back to our ore complex. The future complex we will build. And let's see, it's, see, this one is not efficient because it's using just uh, solar power plants of size M. Uh, and other than that, it does use L sized plants, so those are efficient, but we need to get the solar power plants to be at least L, if not XL. That way it would be more efficient. And first, let's try to go up because the maximum complex size is 400 anyway, so we can't go up that much. And we go up in sizes in, in increments of 5 because. Um, I want to use raster refinery of size L, which requires an increment of 5, because an L is essentially as if you have 5 of those. So it's still using M solar power plants. No, uh, sorry. What? No, I wanted ore mine. Well, that was... that was a mistake. Still M and 395 or mine still M and 400 the maximum we can have XL so let's see here we have XL solar power plant and everything else well raster refinery is M but oh and crystal fab is m oh and kill space aquarium okay so almost everything else is m so that's not ideal but let's compare the two so we have this one which costs 545 million credits and it ends up producing about 96,000 ore per hour units of ore per hour and if i go say with uh, one below that It doesn't seem to be much more expensive though. I, I expected this to be more expensive because um, the solar power plants are more expensive. I see the solar power plants here are 210 million, but I guess we save money by using L factories on the other side. 527 and... Yeah, this one is actually slightly more expensive. Hmm. So not necessarily a good deal there. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's find another victim and then we can make our mind about the next Saturn Complex Hub. This one. Jump device. Yes, they come in close sizes. M, L and XL. <laughs> there is no S though. No, um, enemies don't just automatically become Enemy stronger. System. There is some leveling, uh, but in terms of missions, for example, if you go 
for a combat mission and a combat mission has a difficulty hard then that means it will spawn a set number of, of, of ships uh, that is a certain difficulty to, to battle with depending on your fighter rank so if you go to the personal menu here and you see com uh, combat rank not fighter rank combat rank you see I'm, I have combat rank 25 which is pretty high so that means say a hard difficulty combat missions with a combat rank of 25 will probably spawn multiple frigates and fighters but if I were to do to go for a very hard difficulty mission with combat rank 25, it will probably start already spawning maybe a carrier. Uh, as my combat rank increases, the hard difficulty of missions will mean, you know, more ships that I have to, to battle against. So it's scaled to your combat rank and the difficulty of a mission, but that only for combat, um, for combat missions. Because it, when you take a combat mission, it, autom it, uh, sorry, it automatically spawns uh, a number of enemy ships that you have to to fight so of course it does it leveled but uh anything else in the universe just happens by a set of Seven rules that Paula. generally ignore your um uh, the, your current status like rank and ownership of ships and things like that and that makes it a bit realistic right but in Litcube's universe, you will need all the strength you have to defeat the last enemy, which you guys haven't seen much of actually. The only thing I've, I've been battling so far is the Phenom Corporation. And even they will be pretty hard uh, in the last generation. But after that's done, we will move uh, to the final enemy. And that one will be really hard to beat. They have very strong ships. Okay, going back to our uh, efficiency discussion here. So, in order to produce a Satanta, for example, I need about 20,000 ore units. And I want to size my complexes so that I produce about five times the necessary uh, resources to make a Satanta. So, I want to be able to make five Satantas per hour. And so that means I need about 100,000 units of ore per hour. But since with a maximum complex size that we can have, which is 400, I get less than that. I guess we'll just have to go with that for now. We can build multiple of them in the future, uh, but for now I think it's enough. So like if this is the maximum size, 400. Yeah, should be okay. Oh, it's almost 100,000 per hour anyway, 96,000. So it's fine. We'll do that. We'll build... The next thing will be... This is what we'll, it will be. It will be uh, an ore production complex of size 400. Let's go and finish the job on this guy. Jump device charging at 10%. Yes, the Bruce. Thank you. Entering system, Atreus's clouds. Fan on, kind autopilot off. You're Go dead. In. There you go. That was quick. Okay, so that will be my our next complex, I guess, the ore one I was talking about. Now we have decided on the size. The next thing we need to decide uh, to to decide is what race should we um, pick because many races have the same type of stations like you can you can produce ore with stations from the teladi with stations from the split with stations from the argon with stations from the terran and the decision is which one should you go with for role-playing purposes i would go with the terran but right now i'm kind of short on cash uh, in terms of building all this infrastructure so i think i'll just select the race that is the cheapest one so as we remember i think the split version of it cost about 545 let's see the argon version of it is 512 so it's already cheaper and that might actually be the cheapest one let's see the boron version of it wow 497 even cheaper uh, split we saw i think paranid are usually very expensive Yeah, as you can see, Paranid is about 100 million credits more 
than the Boron version of the same thing. They all produce the same amount of, of, of ore and they take the same amount of resources. So there is no reason why to go with Paranid or over Boron in this case. And the difference is significant. 100 million, you know, it's like 20%. Let's see what Teladi. Hmm, Teladi are a pretty good price, but uh, it's cheaper than the Argon, but not as cheap as the Boron. And the Terran. The Terran are usually pretty expensive, not as expensive as the Paranid, but still one of the most expensive, I think. Oh no, not in this case. In this case, it's actually cheap. Incoming message. It's 494, so it's s about 1 million more expensive than, than the Boron. But, you know, it serves our role-playing experience anyway, so we should just buy the Terran version then. I think that's what I will do. Yes, definitely that's what I will do. Okay, we got the message. Yay! Our uh, first TL just, uh, no, our second TL just completed equipping the Saturn Complex Hub with Rastar Oil. So I think it's time for us to install all those stations. So you, second TL. I want you, so operation, install, automatic operation. Good. So it automatically installed all the stations. Now the only thing it needs, it needs about 530 silicon wafer yields. That means we need to move more asteroid resource into this sector before we can uh, start that complex. So you jump to the nearby sector that has a lot Command of asteroid accepted. resources. Hello Desroin. I didn't see you posting much earlier. Sorry if you were alive before and I didn't see you. Okay. Uh, hello partial um yes i am i'm sorry uh, actually i should have put that in the uh, in the game command but i did not i'm using litcubes universe mod uh in addition to that i'm using uh, a few mods of uh from other people on top of litcubes plus a mod i made which is not necessarily a mod it's kind of like a, a few small changes to some scripts to make some things better in my opinion Okay, um, what else? So, so this guy, wait, 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 wait. Before we go and do anything, we need an Argon Flail Missile Production Facility. Argon Flail Missile Production Okay, this one. Flail Missile Production Facility. Okay. <laughs> what else do we need from the Argon? A Kahuna Bakery M. Kahuna Bakery M. Do we have that? Yes, we do. Oh, great. From the split, we need a Massa Mill M. So you go find that. Massa Mill M. Chose defeat. Okay, great. Now, the second TL, we will use him to move some asteroid resources. I said that we need about, what, 570? Let's see. Rastar oil. Yes, we need, no, 530. We need about 530. Good. You. Use the general and the Plutarch tractor Command system. Accepted. First, we want to compact asteroids until we get about 530, and then we move that one big asteroid. So, as you can see, huge amount of asteroids in this sector. So, we will compact this one with this one. Oh, but I don't have any crystals and quantum tubes. Oh, okay, and I didn't have much energy anyway. So, let me go first. Go home. See, I forgot about that. Go and dock at the headquarters and get some, uh, get tons Command of energy cells accepted. and crystals and quantum tubes. Every time you use the Plutarch tractor uh, system to uh, combine and move asteroids, it will use energy cells and crystals and quantum tubes. That's, that's what makes it balanced. Also, uh, if um, someone can type in... Uh, uh, exclamation mark uh, host uh, there is a YouTube link there and on my YouTube channel uh, there is a playlist for all these streams for the ex uh, f uh, space opera streams and um, 
there is a list, uh, like I said, there is a list for for this uh, series, and uh, on that um, those episodes or have in the description of the videos, they have complete links to all the mods that I'm using. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for triggering the host command. Okay. Um, let's see. Good. Ninja, yes. Okay, so apparently my dock agents are kind of bored right now. Let's see. Oh, they managed to sell crystals and stuff, and now they're bored. Well, I can tell them go and sell some more crystals. So let's drop the desired capacity by 5,000. That means they need to get rid of 5,000 crystals. Yeah, they're already starting to sell them. Good. They were too bored for my taste. I'm not paying them to just sit around and not do anything. So uh, uh, for the next command, I didn't know exactly what to put. Uh, it hasn't been fully decided. There may be someone uh, jumping in with a last minute stream. But for now, the only certain schedule is that uh, Monday Classicor will uh, do another of his um, episode uh, pizza pen and paper episodes let's find another victim this guy yes jump device entering system jupiter 3 you are talking. Spit it out, pilot. Right. Encoding data for trans. Good mission. You are talking to. Okay. Until we get to that guy, anything else we need to do? Oh yeah, this guy got lot at the headquarters, so we need some energy cells. We'll transfer one hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, that's a lot, but he needs energy that. Energy cells transfer. He needs a lot. Um, crystals. Yes, let's get some five thousand crystals. Crystals transfer. Quantum tubes. Let's get about two thousand. Quantum tubes. Tra Good. And now you should jump to unknown sector beta. Command accepted. And this guy. Let's try to destroy him. So, um, who asked, uh, oh, partial, um, so yeah, I just, oh, he jumped away, all right, so, uh, if you have any questions about the mod, I can give you a quick summary, let me know, I've, I've said this before on my previous episodes, but it's fine, we, we, we always get new people in, in chat and uh, curious about the mod and uh, it's no problem to repeat. Okay. Now, let's try again to compact Come some on, asteroids. Exactly. There you go, now we can. And just press enter here because every time we compact to asteroids, the uh, Litcubes universe automatically picks up the next asteroid of the same type of silicon wafers and we just hit enter for the next one and so on. I said we need about 530. Okay, good. And now we should relocate it. This big asteroid. Where is it? There is one with 500 something. Where are you? Where is it? I missed it? It was in the, oh, in the beginning somewhere? Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, it was in the beginning. This guy. And you should be moved to Legends Home where we have our complex. And somewhere around here. I don't really care. There. Engage. And now we moved that big asteroid. And we can go to the Rastar Oil Saturn complex and suck in all that silicon wafers yield. Yeah, and now it's ready. You can see now I, we have the option to engage it. 
So let's do that. We have engaged it. Let me set some things here. Maximum jumps 80. No traders should dock at it. And I don't need any thresholds or anything like that. And we're good to go. If we look at it now, it should any second now start um, start its uh, production clock. Okay, partial. Um, partial of of F. Yeah, partial of F. <laughs> Okay, so uh, LeetCrypt Universe does two main things, right? Uh, actually, well, the biggest thing it does, it gives you a purpose for the end game. If you like to play the X Games and develop a fleet and go through the pain to do all that, then the question is, why are you doing that? You know, what's the purpose of it? And LeetCrypt gives you that purpose. It gives you two large enemies. One of them is the one that I'm currently engaging in destroying their traders to, to slow it down. It's a f uh, Fanon Corporation. It's a... It's an enemy corporation. Entry they system, Argon sector, they work using the exact same rules that you do. For everything they have, they buy them, they, they trade, they make money by trading, they deploy factories and they sell their products just like you would do. And this is your first enemy. And the second enemy called the OCV, it's kind of like an aggressive strain, strand of Xenon. And Auto they are unstoppable. The races cannot stop it. And the Mercury OCV slowly Auburn. but surely takes over the whole universe. And the idea in, in Lead Cube is, is to build a huge fleet and then go and take on the OCV and push them back. No aim. Fanon Corporation, which I'm battling right now, they are kids compared to the, Zin uh, to the OCV. And to give you an idea, this is the Omicron channel. That is a number of sectors that were added by LeetCube and they are taken one by one by the OCV. When they are taken by the OCV, they turn into this brown color. As you can see, four sectors have been taken here, plus a couple of sectors which I haven't explored even. There are like, I think, three more sectors behind that, behind Tiger Theta. Yeah, so in time, they will take over the whole universe. Nothing can stop them unless you do. So that's what LeetCube does. In general lines all right so split mason mill m masom okay uh paranid snail ranch m what time do we have we still have time paranid snail ranch m third redemption right command accepted right good good you, the second TL, since you're bored, you should go... Well, not much you can do right now, so... You should go home. Docking granted. Command Let's accepted. see. My dock agents are bored again. Let's give them something to do. So what do I need? I need more ore, but apparently they cannot find more ore to buy, because otherwise they wouldn't sit there bored. And I need more silicon wafers. Well, this one, they have fulfilled it. So at least that's good. Yeah, I guess there's not much for them to do right now. I could try to drop crystal cap desired capacity even lower. So they, they can sell some crystals at least. And I could probably drop the water desired capacity low because I don't need water. This is just because it's leftover from my failed attempt to make money by selling water. So I should drop this by 10,000. And now they'll try to sell some water. Get rid of that. Yeah, they all they will all be very, really busy soon enough. I won't have them sitting around idling, not doing anything. And since our raster oil complex started producing, maybe we should configure it to be used as a source for raster oil on our HQ. So raster oil, you should get it from that complex. And no, you shouldn't overstock it. And source export threshold should be zero. Just get anything that it's stored on the source complex. Good, see? We're already starting to fill out uh, as a freight source, the last column here, uh, for all the ship manufacturing components. When we're done filling them all out, we're ready to mass produce ships. And then 
in just a few hours we'll have like a large fleet it'll be so much fun Yeah, <laughs> Frankish. Oh no, it it doesn't do that by default. If you Frankish, if you need to uh, have a game run in the background, there is an option here. Gameplay. Um, this one, run game in background. Otherwise, it doesn't. It pauses automatically when you tab out. Yes, Parsha, uh, it's a very neat concept. I mean, I really summarize it. That's the main thing he did, but he didn't just do that. He changed the whole... It's, it's a, he worked on this mod for seven years. And he seems to be like a really smart guy because like, I'm super impressed by the work he did. And... Um, Jump device. Yeah. Um, and... and, and it's not just that he added the enemies and then left you to your own devices. He changed the whole game to make it practical to defeat those enemies. Now, in order to defeat the OCV, you need a huge fleet, like I said. But Leadcube has changed all sorts of mechanics in the game to make it possible to build that fleet. What's going on here? Oh, okay. So apparently my marines are starting to tell me that they're done training. Some of them at least. Great. Entering system autopilot off. Uh, this guy. Target is now target is now in firing range. What? Oh, the menu. The end menu. For a, for a second there, my joystick just wasn't doing anything. Hmm. Okay. This guy ran away. Where did he go? He went to Magratea, which is a pirate sector where I don't have a satellite. That's why I don't see any other information about him right now. That's fine. That's fine. So, some of my marines are done training. That means I can go to my troops transport ship. These three have done training. And I can order them to train some more. So let's see. This guy has almost maximum fighting. I don't need fighting. Let's train him in mechanical. Mechanical. Training. Advanced. This guy has maximum fighting. I don't need fighting. Let's train him in mechanical. Training. This guy, same. Let's train him in mechanical. Training. We'll probably start getting many messages from the other Marines too as they finish training. So, what are my dock agents doing? They're selling water, good, selling crystals, selling quantum tubes, good, that's what I pay them for, to make money. And what do I need to buy from a parent in the shipyard? I need the Snail Ranch M and the Quantum 2 Fab. So, okay. Uh, quantum 2 Fab. Quantum tube snail fab Ranch bought. M. Sna okay, we're ready to do all these missions now. Good. Uh, we need the flail missile production facility in Legends Home. So just jump there. Command accepted. I think I'll jump there too because I don't want them to put multiple stations on top of each other in Legends Home because I'll use that. I'll go there often to um, to build my complexes and. When you have multiple stations deployed at the Legends same position, home. what happens is that your traders, when they try to dock with one of those two stations that are at the same position, they, they will collide with the other one and then they get destroyed. It's kind of a bug you and annoying, but that's you what it is. Talking? Oh, this guy has a new mission for us. Yeah, well, I, I think I'll stop taking missions for now. Unless they're hard or very hard, because there's just too many already. So. This is active, so where do we need to deploy it? Here. Navigational beacon. Good. And you deploy the station, the flail missile production facility at the navigational beacon. Command accepted. No aid. Incoming message. Not you. Not you. Not you. This one. 
Uh, para need quantum two fab at the other location. Okay. Quantum two fab here. Command accepted. Incoming Good. message. Now I can jump out. Let's find a victim or something. I already had one, right? I had one here. But he's in a pirate sector, so I cannot follow him. Let's find another victim. This guy? But he's, he's too far away. Jump device. Uh, okay. Um, so, uh, Frankish, um, this is an interesting point, um, there is no game mechanic, like, you don't add your name to it, uh, you claim it by just, you know, deploying your headquarters there or something like that, um, so you claim it in your head, I guess, however, there are some mods that allow you to, uh, that, that add mechanics to the game, um, to make the claim have some repercussions for example uh there is this mod called um lead cube universe mayhem so it's a mod for lead cube universe um and where you can claim sectors and when you claim them your reputation takes a hit with every other race because you know the races are upset because you're claiming sectors but then because you have claimed the sector uh if anyone builds a station in your sector they will pay tax to you so it's pretty nifty all right, so the next thing we need to build is a Massa Mill M in Finn's Abyss. Uh, so it's again a sector where I don't have um, a satellite, so I probably don't even know where to deploy that thing. Of course, I don't, so I need to s jump to the jump center. Charging at 10%, 20. Wait, wait. Jump aborted. Not me, man. This guy. <laughs> I was going to jump. Command accepted. Let's try again. Massum Mill M. Okay. Command accepted. And the next one, Kahuna Bakery M in Aquila's Beacon. Incoming message. Aquila's Beacon. Command accepted. Factory, um, Kahuna Bakery M. Command accepted. And the next one in um, Incoming Saturn message. 2. Command okay. accepted. Good. This guy, are we ready to attack him? Pilot off. Yes, yes, yes. Die. He'll jump away. There you go. But he doesn't have much hull left. Let's quickly make short work of these guys you are here. Talking, you? You are no, not interested. You. you are talking. What is I am interested? Not interested. You are, you. You are you. talking to the oh. other. Ah, this is nice. Yes, I'll do that. You are talking. Uh, you are you. talking. Uh, Boa is nice, but you I'm going to only use Terran ships. Yeah, alright. So let's wait. <laughs> Frankish, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm trying to remember how hard it gets. I know that it does require you to build a station at some point. So you'll need to do that. Um, but no, you, you probably can finish it in a heavy fighter though like a Nova or something like that, but not in the Buster. So, I'm making tons of Rastar oil. Are these guys freighting the oil? No, because I haven't raised the, um, the desired capacity. Yeah, I'm already at maximum here, so let's double that. Um, 
Now it should, it should yeah, there you go. Frightening, frightening Rastar Oil, both of them. Good. And the Dark Agents, are they bored? Mm, no, they're, they're pretty busy. That's good, that's very good. So, what else do we need? Oh, I can produce another uh, Baldrick Super Freighter. Good. Again, I'm limited by silicon wafers. So let's make another Baldrick Super Freighter. And now we have a template to equip it, so it will be really quick. And this guy, drop a factory. There. Command accepted. And Jump device charging. Incoming message. Okay, good. Entering system. Lack autopilot off. He's dead. He's space dust. No aim. Good. Uh, you are talking do you have an interesting mission for me? No, that's not interesting. You are talking. Okay. Okay, let's save the game. And guys, give me a second here. I'll be right back. All right, back. Back to business. Hey, thanks, Ikak, for tricking the waffle. Um, hey, Renown. Yeah, might be right. I, I actually don't remember that well. Okay, so um, we took a mission, right? We took a split tornado, tornado missile factory. So you go and buy that thing. Split tornado missile factory. Patriarch's conclusion. I'm actually not even Command sure accepted. we have the um, reputation to buy it. Patriarch's conclusion. Uh, oh yes, we can. That's good. We can. Good, good, good. And since there was no um, no satellite Jump here, I should drop one. At 10%. Entering system binds abyss. Jump device charging at. 10%. Okay, I ordered my ship to go abyss. at a certain coordinates in the center of the sector where I dropped my satellite. You are talking Do you have a mission for me? Oh, incendiary bomb launcher. Well, again, I'm not sure I have a reputation for that. Uh, where can we get that? No. Can we get it here? Incendiary. Yeah, I'm not sure. Hey, Kak. Um, I was thinking maybe, I don't know, three hours and a half, maybe up to four, something like that, because I started uh, early. So I, I feel kind of fresh. Um, it's, uh, it's a different experience when, when, I, s when I usually start f four hours later than, than I... or three hours later than I started now. Uh, my dock agents are a bit bored, some of them. Can you give them more work? Yeah, very good. They just got rid of the water. Oh, we did a good job here. Uh, they'll be busy with the crystals, as far as I can see. Hmm, okay. How much money do we have? Do we can... Oh, okay. We're almost... Uh, we have almost enough to, to build the next complex up, the ore-based one. 
<laughs> Ikak. Uh, well, unfortunately, I'm not. I'm not Jordy, so I, I can't pull a Jordy. Only Jordy can pull a Jordy. Uh, I don't have a stamina. We're almost there. This guy. Good. Everything is good. Oh yeah, I said, uh, I, yeah, I see, very good. I built another Baldric Super Freighter. Good. Now let's um, equip it using the template that we just did. Template outfit function. Good. And we select the template called Baldric SFDA Dock Agent. Good. And we select our ship. And there you go. We just equipped it. Filter. Oh yeah, I should just show that. Filter outfitted ship. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can already assign a home automatically. Interesting. Cool. Okay, so we just outfitted with a single click, you know, a single key press um, that ship with all the components that it needs. We can look here, it has everything it needs already configured. The only thing it needs is to assign it a home base. So let's assign that. And now let's order it to become a dock agent. And we have a 13th dock agent here. <laughs> um, I think Vlad did that, right? Um, on Witcher 3 release. He did, what, 8 hours or 10 hours or something like that? That was... oh my god. Oh, apparently we can build uh, one more. Great, let's do that. Uh, let's make another Baldrick Super Freighter. Like I said, uh, my plan right now is just to keep on adding dock agents. Because I need to be able to get rid of any excess stock quickly. So I'll be adding them until I get to have 20 or 25 or so. And after that, hopefully by then, I'll have my complete uh, infrastructure for shipbuilding. Uh, I'll have it done. And so then I can start uh, making fighters and, and uh, corvettes and things like that. So for our ore production, yeah, not the Teladi. Oh, that's the Terran. Wow, okay. So we need the four, uh, 495. We're almost there, but I want to have at least 50 million credits on top of that. So we need uh, 550 million here before we do it. What's going on here? Um, this guy seems to just be accumulating stuff. And my freighters, oh, they're busy. Yeah, another thing I need, I need to build more freighters, I think. Um, but I don't even know the blueprint for that, uh, for the Bragi. The Bragi is a Terran, f um, it's a TS Plus ship. It's a, it's, a trans it's, um, it's a trader type of ship, but it's very slow and yet very uh, spacious. Um, so the Bragi has... 80 meters per second maximum speed which is very slow but it has um, cargo maximum cargo capacity of 22,000 units which is huge compared to the other ones and so I usually configure the Bragi as a freighter because I don't need them to move fast uh, for just freighting goods from uh, from my factories to the HQ I only need them to to move a lot when they do so I go for capacity first yeah. Okay. So, uh, split tornado missile factory. Torn tornado. Yeah. Uh, Zyar stand. Okay. Zyar stand. Command accepted. Oh yeah, the place where they had Xenon super destroyers and things. So I need to move fast. Oh, there you are. <laughs> they have a normal destroyer, a super destroyer, a carrier, and a corvette, which is roaming around. Command accepted. 
So after you're done, message. you should go home because you're not safe Stalking there. Granted. Oh, I like Command how the home accepted. sector looks now. So busy. Just ships flying back and forth. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, we made some money there. That was a good deal. So, do I still have alpha particle cannons here? Because those are my main ma money maker. No. So I guess my dock agents are doing their job as they're supposed to. That's good. That's good to hear. And... Rastar oil. Okay, it's being carried. Teladianium. It's being carried. Ore is the next thing I'll deal with. And after that I'll deal with silicon wafers. Right now I'm actually limited more by silicon wafers than rather than ore. So I could look at making silicon wafers the next thing instead of ore. That might work. Yeah. Maybe let's see. So if we do um, maximum size silicon mine complex to produce silicon wafers, how does that work? It's actually the almost the same amount of money. And it's going to make 20,000 silicon wafers per hour. And how much do I need? I said that my... Um, if the, the values that I'm guiding by right now is to be able to make 5 setantas per hour. So a setanta needs... needs almost 5,000 silicon wafers. So I need about 25,000 per hour. And that thing, I think, was somewhere around that. It's 20,000, so a bit less. Uh, but it's the maximum size complex we can have anyway. So it's not like we'll get more than that. And we will actually drop a bit in size because I want to find an efficient an, an efficient configuration for it. Because right now, this is using um, solar power plants of size M and food supplies of size M. That's not efficient. So let's let's find an efficient configuration. Wow, Fleus did that 24 hour. Yeah, I think I remember vaguely something about that. That was impressive to say the least. That good? Go lower. Wait. Okay. Still M sized. Lower. This kind of sucks. I was thinking maybe I could look at the code to make to make something where it saves you more time when doing this kind of search. Uh, not good. Still not good. Man, we're dropping in size significantly already. That means we'll need to build multiple of these. Okay, finally, there we are. Oh, this is a very efficient configuration. Look at these guys. So the solar power plants are in size XL. Everything else is in size L, which is the maximum size for those things like crystal fab and pro protein paste blending facility. And look at the price. So just because just because everything now it's in large size the whole price is 350 million credits and if we go say for something smaller uh, let's see oh, but they're still using XL and L so let's go even smaller than that Right, there you go. So this thing that produces less than the, the previous complex because it's about 10 size smaller uh, costs about 100 million credits more and compared to the other one which costs uh, it's more than 100 million. The other one was uh, 348 million credits and this one is 471 and it makes less. So yes, l uh, trying to find the optimal configuration for the size you need, it's really worth it guys. Let's go back. Yeah, there you go. 348. 
This is awesome. And now we can look to see if any of the races gives us any significant discounts. So let's try Argon. Three ninety, so it's more expensive. Boron. Uh, no, silicon. Okay. Uh, three ninety four. This is very expensive. Wow, that's surprising for the boron. Split. No, Kyoti. Just a bit longer than usual stream. Split is even more expensive, 400 almost. Mm. Paranid. Paranid usually are expensive anyway. But let's look at it for kicks. Yeah, the most expensive so far. Teladi. Uh, still kind of expensive. And we looked at the Terran, and that's it. Hey! So we'll do Terran. That works for me. I'm supposed to play a Terran anyway. And this is really cheap, so I can do that now. I don't need to wait anymore. 350 million. I have more than enough money to do it. So you. Supply ship 1. Or supply ship 2, doesn't matter. Uh, go and dock at the shipyard that Docking sells Saturn granted. Complex Hubs. <laughs> One cool thing I want to show you guys. Um, because I knew that I will be often ordering my TLs, which are very slow moving, uh, to dock at those shipyards where to buy the Saturn Complex Hub from. I actually made something to make uh, their um, trip shorter, to make it more efficient. So if you look here in this sector, Saturn 3, where um, there is the shipyard that sells Saturn Complex Hubs, normally they would just jump here in the center of a sector and then they would have to travel all this way to the shipyard. But as you can see here, my TL jumped somewhere here. Why? Because I have dropped a jump beacon. So you can see in the uh, list of, um, of items in the sector map here on the right side, you can see my jump beacon that I dropped there. So wherever you drop a jump beacon, your ships can jump to it. And then that made the trip just made it half of what it was. I couldn't actually go closer because while on the sector map this looks like a tiny uh, icon, in reality it's a huge um, station and you just can't get closer to it. So yeah. <laughs> Shipyard. Yes, Alterion. Yes, I know. Unfortunately, uh, since I'm not a native English speaker and I, I'm, I've really tried to be careful with that, but I still say it that way. I don't know why. I guess that's how I learned to say it. <laughs> yeah, ship trading. They should, they should put that here in the game. That would get really confusing. Are you trading ships or sheeps, right? Mm, okay, let's find another victim. Since we have time to kill this guy. Jump device. Entering system, Alatna Hill. Okay. For autopilot off. Bum 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 bum. Pew pew pew. Oh, this guy has a lot of shielding. I'm not even sure if I'll be able to damage its hull before he jumps out. Oh yeah, I got to it now. Good. Alright, he jumped out. Uh, wait for the tourists to do their job. Or we could go for the next victim. I think there was another trader here. There he is, but he's already docking and probably jumping away after that. So there's no point. How are my ships doing? 
you are going there. Good, good, good. And we're going to, to buy a Saturn Complex Hub of size 375. And I think I'll even buy the size 400 for the future uh, or uh, Complex Hub. Uh, because I won't have the money to, to buy the stations uh, that I need to equip it with, but I can buy the complex hubs to avoid another trip in the future. Because the complex hub itself is not expensive. So what are my dock agents doing? They're busy, they're keeping themselves busy. That's good, that's great. That's how I like to see them. And can we build another dock agent? No. We don't have enough silicon wafers, but we'll take care of silicon wafers very soon. We will definitely do that. <laughs> Thanks, Ikak. What's going on here? Is there like a... Yeah, die. Okay, good, he died. You now. Jump device Where did you think you're going? 10%. You thought you can run away from me? Ha ha ha. Uh, haven't you seen that movie Final Entry Destination? System. Wrong cars fire. You cannot run away from me. Off. Dead. No aim. Okay, final. Find another victim. This one, well... Wait, what's this guy doing? He was there earlier. Where is he going? Uh, he's trying to go with one of the solar power plants, I think. Which means I could intercept him easily. Okay, so let's do that. Jump device. But where did I jump to? If I jump to the wrong gate, entering system. Yes, Alatna I did. Because he's going, he's going uh, eastwards, so I should jump at the south gate so that I can jump intercept him. Jump device charging at ten percent. Entering system, Alatna Hill. <laughs> yes, Ikak. Phanom Kaiman Super Freighter XL. It's like you know, death and taxes. I'm now trying to deal with the taxis part. This sector looks pretty nice, actually. I like this planet. It looks beautiful. Okay. So we're intercepting him. In the meantime, uh, this guy got here, so we can buy the Saturn Complex Hubs. We need a 375 one for silicon, and we need a 400 one for ore. That's what I remember. Complex hub bought. And a 400 one. Good. And now he needs to deploy it, but in order to deploy it, I actually need to be there in the sector where to deploy it at. In Legend's home. So, since we, we're not doing that, let's use that time to actually move some asteroid resources that we will need at those complexes anyway. And so, if we calculate the silicon mine requirements, it requires um, how much silicon yield? I don't see that. Oh, it's, it says forty multiplied by seventy-five. What does that even mean? I mean, the <sighs> so because usually uh, it displays the requirement in like one large number, but no, I'll have to do math for that. Silicon wafers, okay. Well, I guess 75 multiplied by 2, you got 150 multiplied by 4, you got 300 and 10, 3000, right? So we need 3000 silicon wafers. I hope my math is right. 3000 is a lot, actually. Might We might run out of silicon wafers because, I mean, we had a lot, but we still used much of it. So let's look at the asteroids page. Now, this asteroids page is the one that I made small changes to it in order to order the sectors by the asteroid yield. And we can see here, the, uh, for silicon wafers, we have about 6,700 left in sector beta. Okay, so it, there's enough of it. But after 
after using 3,000 of those, there'll be just half. So I'll have to keep an eye on this. Uh, I may need to move my, uh, in, my future industry in a different sector. Right, so since... Um, since you're bored, go here and I'm compact and move some silicon mine asteroids. Oh wait, 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 we have a victim. The victim. Kaiman Super Freighter XL. Thanks for confirming me here. Usually the game just shows the total asteroid yield required. I guess when you're actually aiming for producing silicon wafers as opposed to using silicon wafers as intermediary products for whatever you're building, that's when it doesn't do that and it just shows like uh, you need 75 mines multiplied by 40 yield for each of them so you have 3000 total yield required all right so you're there Command uh you should compact some asteroids silicon uh with this one all right let's do that We need 3,000, so this will take some time. We may actually need to go to the HQ and get more energy cells because we may run out of those. No, there you go. We just got it. Still with enough left. Plenty left. Okay, so now Command accepted. I need you also to compact, but because I have some asteroid left in the other sector where I'm, um, where, where I'm building the, um, the complex. So I'll just compact from this sector to the other sector. Yeah, very good. See, I have 15 left here. So we'll just merge the two. Done. Good. I got everything I need. Uh, Incoming message. Oh, got a message? Oh, very good. We got a report from the new Phenom subsidiary. So their next scheduled procurement is a station. They have 26 free agent traders and I killed about 10. So they would have had a lot more. They have mining vessels. They have a ton of military, but not that huge, actually. 120 is not that huge. I can jump to their Incoming sector and message. quickly destroy Attention. a ton of these. One of your ships is under attack. PTNI headquarters. What's going on here? Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, but my trader will just jump away. He, he drops his uh, uh, fighter drones and then jumps away. I don't need to worry about him. There you go, he already jumped away. Hello Divinorium. Yes, exactly. When it vibrates, it's getting hit. Good evening, Kilgore Trout. Well, I ran out of water here. I mean, need to get some more water. Let me um, deal with something first here. Oh yeah, we're actually very close to Light of Heart. Yeah, so I'll jump there. Jump device charging and you... 10%, 20, you should jump 30, there too, because you need to deploy the 40, two complexes. 50%, command accepted. Entering system, Light of Heart. Nice. Oh, not Light of Heart. Wait, Legends Home, that's jump where I need to device charging at... 10%. Entering system. Legends home. Okay, good. Uh, we have four complexes already here. And they're, they're all just like below and above the two gates we have. I guess at this point we need to extend left and right. Um, so, you drop your station uh, okay this one first and start from the north gate and let's see no go this way and go try to go that left I think this is good almost eight kilometers left of the gate that's good Command accepted. Let's look. North. Yeah, it's good. You can see the north gate has a complex above it, Com below it, and now Com left of it. And we'll complex also drop hub. one right of it. XL Alpha. 
So let's do that. Drop station. This one. North gate. Zoom in. About eight kilometers right. Yes, I think. This is good. Command accepted. Yay! And you go home. Docking granted. And Command rename accepted. the complexes. This one will be silicon, the 375 one. So it's GOG Silicon Wafers SCH. And install the silicon configuration. Great. Actually, that one that I sent home, he shouldn't go home. He, sh he sh should just be buying uh, stations for the silicon complex. My bad. Shop complex hub, silicon Command wafers. Accepted. Good. And the next one should be the ore one, but I don't have money to buy stations for it, for it yet. So it's ore SCH400. And it's, let's install the configuration on it for ore. Uh, or mine L, also Terran. Yeah, it's all good. And this one will need um, will need three three point two thousand ore resources and a, a bit of silicon wafers. Yeah, we'll be able to give it all that, all that it needs. It's all good. It's all good. Cool. Things are starting to ramp up pretty quickly. Um, so the silicon one, let me configure it. Maximum jumps, no traders, no need for import export here. S the ore one, the same. Maximum jumps, no traders. I don't care about those. All good and nice. Um, <laughs> nice stuff here. I like how it looks. Let's find the victim while we need to kill some time. This guy. Oh yeah. Jump device. Entering system. How much money do we have? Out. Yeah, we don't have money to equip both complex hubs, definitely not. And what are my dock agents doing? We're pretty busy. Do we have any alpha particle cannons that are aren't being sold? Yes, we do. But that might be because we're nowhere to sell them to. Because, see, I don't have any more water to sell, or crystals, or anything else for that matter. I think we might be able to build yet. Yeah, there you go. Another dock agent. Uh, another Baldrick uh, super freighter. So let's do that. Let's do that. Here. Uh, build it. Good. It's definitely a helping uh, Kilgore Trout. I, I feel great. Uh, much better than yesterday and uh, many other streams. I was just... I think I wasn't drinking water at all. So, yeah. Autopilot off. ECAC has been really helpful, uh, reminding me every 15 minutes or so, so that helped a lot. I'm getting a bit tired now because I mean it's been uh, three hours and a half, so that's normal. I don't have the stamina that other streamers have, but uh, otherwise I feel great, so this is much better. You are talking to the. You are talking. Mm, not interested. You are you? talking to the do you require we have anything interesting? Not interesting. I'm looking to see if anyone is selling me any Terran ship uh, blueprints. If so, I'll buy them, otherwise I'm not interested. Dun, 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 dun. And okay. Oh, yeah, there you go. We just oh I forgot that I I built another dock agent just some minutes ago. So now we have two Two ships that we built uh, and they're just sitting there unused at the headquarters. 
Yeah, there should, there should be an option to receive a notification when a ship is done building. Uh, because otherwise I forget. Anyway, we have two uh, dock agents. Uh, let me first order my ship to jump here. Jump device charging now, with two dock agents, we can 20, equip them using the template 30, outfit. 40, yeah, both of them. 50%. This one and this one. Done. 60, seven. So we just equip them with just two key braces. That's what's one awesome about um, template out outfit function that LitCube no added. Aim. Done. This guy was killed. What's this? Oh, it's an empty sector with just like a fan on the station. Yeah, I probably want to get the hell out of here because if they have a station here, that means they will be sending a response fleet to um, as um, as a response to the fact that I attacked I attacked one of their ships in a sector where they have a station. This guy, I don't know what he's doing there. He's just way too far for me to intercept. Now, this guy, maybe I'll be able to intercept. Okay, so now after we equipped the two Baldrick Super Freighters using the equip automated equipment thing, I need to assign them a home base and then order them to function as dock agents. Entering system, so, Ianimus Zura. Home base. Home base here. And you too, home base. Home base here. And now become a dock Command agent. Command accepted. And you become a dock agent. Command accepted. Yeah, we added two more dock agents. Good. Things are looking good. What's the uh, TL doing here? Shopping. Yeah. Shopping for the silicon complex hub I just built. I will need. I will need a ton of stuff here. But we do have a silicon wafer, so we can get that. Okay, we just absorbed 3000 silicon wafer um, requirement. Bye, Desrain. Thanks for uh, staying up so late. <laughs> What's where, where am I going? Oh, that guy. Autopilot off. He docked at the station, I think. Yeah, he did. So that's why my autopilot was turning back. No problem, we can follow him. No, no, they don't respond. They are finite. Um, and so, because one of the uh, thousands of changes Litcube did to the game was to, to make a lot more resources in the game. The original game, if you just summarize, if you add up all the silicon and ore yields from all the sectors you will get probably a tenth of what litcube universe sectors have and the reason why he did that is because he had to in order to be able to build all those large complexes and make all everything you need to support your fleet you need to have a ton of resources so no they're finite there's actually a um, bug Nexus well sort of a bug freighter. it's kind of like a not a very friendly feature that people run into and because they're finite the resources uh, that can screw up their game so when you build as you've seen when you um, after you build a, a, a Saturn complex hub uh, then you deploy factories in it and you absorb asteroid resources in it and so if you ever decide to I don't know get rid of that Saturn complex hub you must not forget to remove the absorbed asteroid yields and place them back into the sector. Because if you do, 
If you forget to do that, and then just auction the station, that is auction the Saturn complex hub as it is, with the asteroids absorbed in it, you will permanently lose the absorbed asteroid yields. And many people did that without realizing, and when they found out later that they didn't have enough resources in the whole universe to satisfy their industry needs because they lost them that way. Alright, so our TL is done shopping for the Saturn complex hub. So it's time to activate it. So reinstall, pump. Oh, why did it say it was done? Because it seems... E Dude, you need 20 crystal fabs. What the hell? That's, that's weird. He said he was done. Okay, let's repeat the command then. No, this one. Command accepted. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you need to buy 20 crystal uh, factories. Okay, well, we'll have to wait a bit more. We just need 20 crystal fab L. That's what we're missing here. That's so weird. That's kind of like a bug because he had enough capacity to get them, I think. For some reason, he just didn't buy them and said everything was good. Yeah, no problem. Where did this guy go? Because I damaged him, but I don't know where he went. He went in a pirate sector. I think we can try to follow him. Let me say first, because it's a pirate sector. You never know. And let's try to follow him. Hey, Koala Man. More Chrono Trigger, as you can see. Autopilot activated. Wait, what? Oh, I don't know that sector. So my ship is trying to fly through gates instead of jumping directly. Uh, okay, so it's Veal of Delusion. Where is that? Let me try to find it. This is Lost in Vengeance. I think it's here. South. Yeah. Veil of Delusion. Yeah. So let's jump to the sector that we do know here in Faded Dreams. And then we can make a 180 turn. Let's jump to the south gate. And then we turn 180 degrees and enter that sector and go into the pirate sector. And maybe we can still intercept the Phenom trailers. Okay, 180. Entering system, Veil of Delusion. Oh, I like this music. Where are you? Where is that trader? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. Okay, so I could jump in the center of the sector. Jump device charging at 10%. Entering system, Veil of Delusion. It's not too far. The problem is that I'm getting close to pirate ships while trying to hunt him down. And I think he'll actually make it. Uh, I think he will dock at the pirate base before I can destroy him. Yeah. Looks like it. Damn it. Yes, he did. There you go. Uh, he just did that. And now I have to get the hell out of here anyway. Because it's a pirate sector. Where do we go? Let's just go back to Faded Dreams. Jump and I should call my fuel shuttle if I remember the keyboard shortcut. I think it was semicolon. Entering system, faded dreams. Yeah. Command accepted, energy cells. Good. I just called in my fuel shuttle to give me some fuel. And, okay, what's the TL doing? Saturn covers, okay, dude, do your job. How much money do we have? Uh, we won't have that Transferred. much. All right, the fuel shuttle is here and just transfer. Hey guys, do you like the pink colors on my fuel shuttle? I'm hoping to be able to give pink color colorish like that to all my ships. We'll see about that. Command accepted. All right, I just ordered it to go home, to go back home. Okay. What are my dock agents doing? They're busy. They're busy, keeping themselves busy. Are they selling anything? Selling some quantum tubes. So in general, I mean, 
about 40% of them aren't that busy. So I could give them something to do. Sell more water. What about that? Sell 10,000 units of water. Let's see. Yes, suddenly they're busy selling water. What's going on here? Oh, <laughs> those are the fighter drones of the um, trader that I attacked, I think. And they're going back to him because he's now docked at the pirate station uh, in the sector to the south. Let's find another victim. That guy escaped with his life. He was lucky. These guys are way too far from any jump point. That guy is way too heavily shielded. What about these guys? Aha! Uh -huh. This one is close. Um, yeah, I'll put that one on the second monitor. All right, but first, this guy. System. Where is he? Homily of perpetuity. He is not too far. We'll be there in no time. You are talking. Let the information. Not interested. I was trying to see if I get any missions. Did you guys see how many stations are in this sector? It must be over 20. And they are the result of me doing tons of build station missions. Alright. Your Fell time. On. Vulture autopilot off. Okay. Jump. Can we make more dock agents? Yes, we can. Things are starting to pick up, as you can tell. Like before, I had to wait a long time before I can make a ship. Now I can make one every few minutes. And once I have my infrastructure in place, I think I'll be able to to have enough resources to build um, maybe 20 dock agents per game hour, which is kind of big, I know, but it's not really that big when you start Incoming when message. you start making capital ships. Okay, a new message from the Paranid Empire regarding the OCV. Uh, they're saying that they're going to try to counterattack the OCV. Well, good luck, guys. Good luck. I know nothing will come out of it, but good luck to you. And let's build another Baldric Super Freighter. So, what's my limit again? I'm limited by ore and silicon wafers, as usual. The next thing after those two will be computer components. That's the next limit, and I don't have a complex for that yet. And after that, it will be microchips. And I think I'm done. Yeah, that's the last one. Microchips will be the last one, because I have uh, complexes for everything else at that point. Where did you go? Some other dude that went into a pirate sector. Jump device charging. Let's try to chase him down. Incoming message. Entering system. Acquisition okay. repository. This TL is again saying that he's done shopping for the complex hub. Maybe this time he's right. So... Yes, this time he has enough. Yeah, finally, now we can engage it. Engaged. Engage, Mr. Data. 
So, we now have a functional silicon wafers complex. Silicon wafers won't be an issue anymore for us. Uh, let me go here and say that I do not wish to buy silicon wafers anymore. I just wish them transferred from my complex. There you go. Oh yeah, and it's not overstocking and zero source export threshold. Good. Yeah, we have ore, microchips and computer components, the last three. And for ore, we're already ready somewhat, we just need the money um, to pay for it. Oh my god, uh, why did you jump, uh, dude? Jump device charging. Why did you jump at the center if a guy was close to the salt gate? Acquisition yeah. repository. I'll, I'll, I'll not be able to reach this guy in time. Heavy weapons complex alpha. I still might be able to make it actually. Alright, so how are my dock agents doing? Everybody keeping busy? Good, working for their money? Almost everyone, that's good. Um, Alert. Missile they closing. apparently got rid of the water I asked them to. They're tiny little busy bees, I guess. Not that little. Phantom, vulture, advanced. Hey, <laughs> Ikak. Thank you. We'll do that now. Someone is firing missiles at me. Oh yeah, those guys. Well, I'm, I'm in the pirate sector, so obviously they're going to try to say like, what are you doing here? And obviously I will leave. Because I have better things to do. But let me find the next victim before I leave. This guy, no, he's too well shielded. This one is very fast, but maybe I can get to him. Yeah, those pirate fighters got near me and started shooting. Third redemption. You are talking to What do we have here? Not interested? Ain't you nobody got time for that. You are talking. Oh, not interested. And you? You are talking to the. Uh, not interested. Maybe. Okay, so again, everybody keeping busy. Good, good. Oh, and our our sh uh, new ship was built. So let's outfit it. Done. And she's ready. Almost. I have to set the home base. And she's ready to become the next Command dock agent. Accepted. We have just enabled the 16th dock agent. Good. He might jump away still. Yes! In the last microsecond, we killed it. Let's put some distance from the solar power plant. And now we can slow down and let our turrets kill the fighter drones. Actually, it's not technically killing, right? If it's just AI. And the question is, is AI living, a living being? Do you kill AI or do you terminate it? 
Mm, need some more money. Do we have APCs? No. Oh, I guess we sold everything. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. For the next one, for the ore, we need 500 million or so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will take some time. Yeah. I won't, I won't probably make it this stream. I won't make the ore uh, complex. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do that off stream when I get the money. And yeah, uh, silicon wafers. But the f the complex that makes silicon wafers. It's a little v. Is it making stuff? Yeah, it's making a lot of it. Every two minutes, it's making 750 of them. That's so cool. And my freighters are they're carrying, they're carrying silicon, f uh, f silicon wafers. Good. This one is carrying rastar oil, though. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Maybe I should, although, you know, maybe I should set it that only carry silicon wafers if you, if it's at least 2% full so that they get the full load. Because right now, this guy has still had room uh, to store more, but he hurried up because I configured it to, to get anything, even if it's 0% full. So let's do it here. Uh, I want 2%. So when when the um, the source that is the complex which makes silicon wafers has at least two percent stored, that's when you should go and you know make a run to to fetch some. Okay. What else? Oh, we have that. Everybody keeping busy. This guy is selling some alpha particle cannons. Good. That will lend me some more money. Yeah, we're good. Now the problem is uh, we need to set up some couriers to get excess stock because so see like right now look at the quantum tubes complex. It's almost 84% full. That is, our freighters aren't moving more of it because according to the desired capacity, I already have enough. If you look here, quantum tubes, I already have 5,000. So there's no need for my freighters to, to move more. And so that's where freighters are actually useless if you want to produce things that you both use them and want to sell them. Because in order to be able to sell them, you need to bring more of them than your actual set capacity because the dock agents only sell things if they are above the set capacity. But the freighters never bring in something above the set cap capacity. They only bring in if it's below the set capacity. So we have a contradiction. And in order to solve that contradiction, we set up couriers. Couriers are, I talked about it last episode, they're the type of ship that can just follow your orders to the letter. Uh, I have three couriers already here, and they're pretty busy on their own, so I'll need more couriers. Uh, I'm thinking of maybe making one more courier to move quantum tubes, and so that my dock agents can sell them. And probably I'll need the same for the next thing, which seems to have higher capacity here, or that is raster oil and so on. Uh, because I think raster oil at this point is already yeah, it's already at the desired capacity, so if I want to get more of it, I'll need to set up a courier. Yeah, I guess next thing, if I get, a, if I build any um, Baldrick uh, super freighter, I won't be using it as a dock agent, but instead I'll use it as a courier. Yeah, that's what I will do. Okay, so I see some ships here jumping in uh, okay it's a frigate of some sort and what's this guy doing let's kill him as the last thing uh, okay well he's too far away from the gate so no no I think this uh, this is where I'll um, wrap it up guys um, yeah yeah I think this is where I'll wrap it up 
Okay, people, let's save the game. Um, one last thing. Let's see what is our total asset value before we go. Total asset value. 10 billion. We just passed the 10 billion mark. Yeah. And we will need a lot more than this. We'll probably be over 100 billion uh, when we start uh, to fight the OCV. So, yeah. All right, people. So, um, thanks for your time. Thanks for being here on Christmas weekend. Thanks for watching GOG. Thanks for watching the stream. And thanks for following us. And hope to see you again. Um, have a good weekend. I'm not sure if the next stream will be... Uh, if there will be any stream tomorrow. So I put in the next sure thing. Which is the morning stream. Uh, the Monday morning stream with uh, Classic. Or, well, it's morning for me. Actually, it's evening in Europe. With Classic. Or, and... Um, uh, tune in and um, watch watch a, a new episode of his uh, pizza pen and paper uh, series. Let's close this thing. Thank you, people. Have a good night. <laughs>